your four-legged friends for dogs. Let us show you some of the makes that you've been sharing with us today. Share your makes as a... Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi everybody, welcome to Sewing Street. It's Good Friday and the start of the Easter weekend. You know, I was at a party recently and I met Arnold Schwarzenegger and I said to Arnold, what's your favorite Christian celebration? And he said, well, you has to love Easter, baby. I'll wait, I'll wait. I thought that was a good one. Anyway, it's great to have your company here on Sewing Street. We're alive till one. We've got a really packed morning and it is the start of the bank holiday weekend. So I hope you've got some wonderful plans. I hope those plans involve staying with us here on Sewing Street till one o'clock every day. Just saying. <laughs> but let's start the day in the way that we always do, not with a terrible dad joke, but with our early bird. <gasps> nice, I hear those tweets. Gorgeous. Now, this is one of my favourite books, and also it's one of Deputy Joan's favourite books. Um, uh, and I know that Deputy Joan, you know Deputy Joan, has made lots of the quilts from this book. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's called The Seedling Quilts book and it's written by Jodie Godfrey who's um, Australian and she brings a wonderful aesthetic to her quilts, gorgeous use of colour and this is actually a book on 
English paper piecing. You've got 11 paper pieced and applique designs, but actually what she's done, I mean absolutely beautifully, is each pattern, each section in the book is, I mean it's glorious, absolutely glorious isn't it? Um, so each section, let me just go through the obviously techniques and everything you'll need. So you get the quilt pattern. So here's the first one, Myrtle, which is an absolutely beautiful English paper pieced quilt. Okay, um, full pattern for that. But then I'm just going to skip ahead because you've your 11 patterns, but then at the end you've got the seedlings quilt, which takes, there's Myrtle, it takes all the different patterns and puts them together into one sampler quilt. So actually if you want to just try different techniques, different shapes for English paper piecing, maybe you've only tried hexagons so far or triangles and you want to expand your repertoire, the final seedlings quilt brilliant brilliant place to start but you've got all the individual quilts too amazing use of color modern fresh joyous rosemary mom mummy hillard this one's for you mummy hillard will be watching of course and we both want to say a massive thank you by the way for all the lovely comments about my mum and my trip to Hull on the train. My mum went on the train for the first time since 1967. It was quite, it's quite a day out. This is a gorgeous one isn't it? Cornflower. Um, not just blues of course. <laughs> Look at all that colour. Um, now the price is 14 49 but this is our early bird so let's get on with it. <laughs> That price is really going to drop. You're going to love this. £9.49. That is a huge, huge reduction. Brilliant saving. A brilliant book. Now let's compare the price and see what you could be paying elsewhere. We had a look on that long South American river. I don't know why we can't just say Amazon, but... Oh, I've said it. Oops. Oops. There you go. Look, if you want to go on to Amazon right now... It is 19 pounds and seven pence. 19 pounds and seven pence. So you could pay almost 10 pounds more. Mm. Free postage isn't really free, is it, when you're paying nearly 10 pounds more if you get Prime. Same book from us today, nine pound 49. But remember that price will go back up to its usual price um, at midnight tonight. Now the usual cover price, of course, is 14.99. So I don't know where Amazon are getting 19 pounds plus from, but there you are, there you are. We don't need to look, do we? It's nine pounds and 49 pence here today on Sewing Street Post, your PMP. Now, a few slides to get your creative juices flowing. Absolutely gorgeous. And of course, Jodie here has used lovely, bright, fresh, modern prints, but this would work beautifully if you have more traditional fabrics, if you like solids, batiks. It's really going to work with any fabric collection. I also think this is a fantastic opportunity to use up your scraps. If you've never tried English paper piecing before, we'll love it. It's relaxing, it's easy, it's mindful, it's accurate. Half of the stock of the Seedlings Quilt book has now been checked out. So if you want to get hold of a copy, or two or three, what about gifting these? What about passing these on to other folks from your quilt guild or your sewing circle? This is fun, peppermint, I love that. And all the different designs, as I say, they have a standalone design. This is Yarrow. Over half the stock now has gone. Lovely message. Morning, Stuart and team. I'm planning to quilt sew and watch Sewing Street all weekend. Can't think of a better way to spend Easter. Heather. Oh, Heather in North Yorkshire. Big kiss to you. Didn't see any eating chocolate. Mm -hmm. Are you being good? You not like chocolate? I'm gonna ha I am having chocolate on Easter Sunday and that's it. And basically Sunday, all bets are off. All bets are off. But then Monday morning I'm back to it. Trimming down, trimming down. You might have noticed as I've been going through the book, the um, sort of Herbie, planty names, Yarrow, Peppermint, Caraway, Myrtle, all inspired by herbs. 
that's the the the, the, the seedlings. Um, Jody was inspired. It's a stitchy journey through an ancient herb garden, which I think is wonderful and rather lovely. Bit more inspiration. Gorgeous, gorgeous quilts. There you see on the right, that's the seedlings quilt. That's putting all of the different 11 projects together, a bit of each. And what a lovely way to try different shapes and not have to commit to making, you know, a gazillion of anything. A message across my bottom. What better place for it? Hi, Stuart. Happy Easter. It's my birthday today, so I have some pennies to spend. Judy in Godalming. Judy. Julie, sorry, Julie. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Happy birthday to you. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Cake for you, chocolates for you. You don't have to wait till a Sunday. Now, don't forget to keep checking out for your Seedlings Quilt book. Now, just while we're on the subject of books, um, just very quickly wanted to mention our wonderful Jenny Jackson, one of our favourite guests here at Sewing Street. Her brand new book was launched just a few days ago um, and sold out completely. Now we've managed to get some more stock in for today's show. It is English Paper Piecing Workshop, 18 English Paper Piecing Projects for Beginners and Beyond from Jenny Jackson. And what a glorious book this is. Where the seedlings quilt has quite a traditional look, Jenny's designs are so modern and fresh. They are just beautiful. If you missed out on the day, this is your chance to get this brand new, just been launched book by our very own Jenny Jackson. It really is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Hundreds and hundreds of these books sold out on the day of its launch, of course. Oh, loving that, loving that. Um, but this is our first back in stock. Just beautiful. This is your chance to buy Jenny Jackson's brand new book. Now I know the last, well the last one's signed. Okay. Might these be signed ones? Doesn't say, we don't know. Oh, wow. Absolutely beautiful, just smashing. And that's back in stock now. Today, 13 99 for 18 projects. Less than a pound, quite a bit less than a pound per project. <gasps> just gorgeous. Now, here's a special deal for you. Shop to win. I like the sound of that already. Today, <coughs> anyone that shops today at all, anything at all, could be our early bird, could be our fabulous seams products that are coming right up in a moment. Um, anyone who shops today will be entered into a prize draw for Easter weekend prizes. There's a quilt kit up for grabs, mode of fabrics, some pre-cuts, Maybe you missed out on Jenny's book last time, you're checking out today, you'll be in the prize draw. You'll be in that shop to win prize draw. Nice little extra bonus. You could buy yourself a gorgeous Seams hand cream today and then enter the prize draw with a quilt kit as well, as if beautiful hand cream wasn't enough. Now, we need to do the menu and then we're gonna get on. So this is what's coming up today. Okay, so 8 a.m. we've got Seams Hand Care with Karen, the originator, the inventor of the Seams range. I'm super excited about that. We've just met. I can't wait to get to know Karen better. Now at 9 o'clock we've got the Cathedral Cushion and Patchwork Bag with Susie Duncan. Two completely different projects. You'll love them both with our gorgeous Susie. At 10 a.m. it's Quilting Tools. Yeah. I'm going to be going through some essentials at 10. At 11 o'clock, uh, it's the post room quilt with Susie Duncan. This has got me written all over it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, great for the Jubilee too. If you want to get ahead, have a look on pre-order and see what we're talking about. And then at 12 o'clock, more quilt tools and some fabulous kits. So super, super morning coming up. Now then, we can, um, let's just talk about how to shop on the website. Uh, so go to www.sewingstreet.com first of all, and then once you're there, hurrah, just click on watch live, 
and then you'll be able to see us in all our glory. You can message us there too, message the studio, type us a little message. And then everything we've already shown on screen will be in the left hand column. And then everything we're going to show will be in the right hand column. There's all that gorgeous seams products. We've got some lovely books. We've got gifting. And then a little further down, we've got some gorgeous patterns. We've got the cathedral window there. Now that book there is a back in stock. Really fantastic, really popular um, book that. Wonderful resource to have. We'll have a, a good look at that later. Fabulous fabrics. There's that new quilt kit, the post room quilt. I love this. How fabulous for the Jubilee is that? Red, white and blue. Totally beginner friendly. You might be looking at that thinking that looks complex. It's totally beginner friendly. Um, now, Otto is in the building. I mean, he isn't actually physically in the building, but Otto is back in stock. We've got 35 kits. Jo Carter's put them together for us. She's been working day and night, I believe, to put them together. We've just got 35 kits to make Otto uh, in stock. So if you want to jump ahead and pre-order yours, it's a great opportunity. These are so difficult to come by now because um, they will have to be cut by hand. Okay. Now then, I'm super excited today because I've used seams so much. I absolutely love it. Now I feel like I'm meeting Estee Lauder <laughs> oh, gosh, because no. you are the de inventor, the designer. You are the person behind Seams. It's Karen, everybody. Hi, good morning. <laughs> it's wonderful to have your company. Thank you. It's lovely now, to be here. Lots of people have already met you before and love your products. I haven't met you before, but do love your products and have been using them for the last few years. I've already had a little dose of Seams hand cream this morning my hands feel all lovely and fresh and soft I think they're looking pretty good too just like to say that um, Karen I need to hear the story I mean how did it all start well I'd spent uh, 40 years in beauty and fashion beauty and fashion were my passion and I was doing a millinery course and you were oh. talking about we were talking one, millinery. millinery millinery before and my hands um, were just shot they, they were cut, burnt, sore and dry. And when your hands are like that, are working with your sewing, whatever you're doing, it becomes uncomfortable. Totally. And it really slows you down. I was going to bed at night with um, antiseptic on my hands. And I sat there with the tutor and I said, well, what do you use? And they, they, they hadn't come up with a hand cream because you had to have something that wasn't greasy and something that helped to heal. So that was where I thought, that's so that what was I'm the motivation. Do. That was the moment, and the um, it was called seams because I was sewing when I when I thought of the idea. Seriously, so, yeah. it's it, so cool. Thank you. I mean, <sighs> the thing is, I mean, obviously, I'm a sewer, a knitter, a craftsperson, and. I totally get what you're saying about the millinery, working with materials. Well, I find working with, with yarn, with wool, very drying. It's like it soaks the everything moisture out of your Everything you're touching, hands. I mean, everything you're touching anyway, but the wool, especially the worsted wool, just takes, uh, takes as you touch it, it's, yes. it's taking the moisture. It's and if, wicking uh, it out of your hands. And if your hands are moisturised with seams, you can actually feel the warp and weft easily. Just threading a needle is... Is, is it's easier, amazing, everything. isn't it? Yeah. It's amazing. I mean, <clears throat> it, the consistency is absolutely beautiful. What I love about it is the fact that my hands do get dry, very dry, and, and it's not just actually from, from knitting and sewing and making things. It's also I cook a lot and I'm constantly washing my hands. I also, I was telling you, um, my husband and I um, run a farm and we're working with the animals all the time and our hands get into a terrible state. But I want to moisturise, but then I also want to be able to get straight back to work. And that's what, that's what this is. It's fast to put on, fast yeah. to sink in, fast to work, but it actually, it's got a biomimic lipid complex in it, which means that it takes all the 10 ingredients, 
in under your skin and it mimics the lipids of your skin which is sort of like um, if you think of your skin like bricks and mortar the bricks are the skin cells and the mortar is the, are the lipids um, and this is biomimetic uh, which is three of our special natural oils that make up this complex and it, they mimic the lipids of your skin so they help to protect they're helping to heal and they're keeping the moisture in under so while you're working Th this is this is still working. It's protecting your hands, it's, isn't it's it? All the time all you're the working, time. and it's helping to heal. So I've had um, mm. seamstresses tell me that if you get a reoccurring cut, very often it's on the thumb. Yes. Um, and it was the seamstress from one of the big department stores, and she had nothing had ever helped her hands, and she was using this. Um, and the, the sore was almost gone. She normally it takes till she goes on holiday for it to, to yeah. disappear. Now the ingredients, Karen, in Seams Hand Cream are pretty special as well, aren't they? Let's have a little look at what's in the cream itself. Karen, talk me through those ingredients, yeah. that shea butter. She well, what actually happened was um, I sat with the, um, the formulator who was, who was um, helping me with the, with the cream and she said, well, do you want it to do this? Do you want it to moisturize? Do you want it to hydrate? Or do you want it to nourish? And I said, yes, all yes, of it. Yes, <laughs> all of that, yeah. Uh, and so uh, that's okay, why- we've got, got one of those. <laughs> that's why it's got the 10 ingredients in it. My, my main ingredient that had to be in there was macadamia nut oil, because that helps to restore. You've got the, um, you've got rosehip oil, which helps to nourish. Rosehip oil is the most incredible um, oil. It, it, it's got so many um, attributes that it that it does. Then you've got the um, shea butter, which helps to soothe, and lanatin, which helps to soften. You've got um, hydrolyzed keratin, so it does your nails as well. So important, isn't it, when you're putting hand cream on, just to spend a moment just rubbing the cream into your cuticles, into the nail itself as well. Yes, because if your if your cuticles are split, water gets in, the new nail gets damaged, so. You've got, you've got no chance. This actually softens your cuticles and keeps them sealed. So, so you've got movement. You know, as soon yeah. as that goes hard and it splits. Um, exactly. If and it's, it's dry and it's flaking, lifting as well. It's not protecting the nail bed either, is it? No. Keeping it moisturised and also keeping it intact, not trimming it off. And I think often when people have got dry or split cuticles, the temptation is to get cuticle nippers, trim them off. But that's actually breaking the seal. It is. And you know what? You just, it's, you will always nip, nip your yeah. finger some while we're doing it. Just moisturise. Uh, a few, a lot of love actually coming through on Facebook. Um, uh, Sue, our very own Susan Duncan has messaged to say, absolutely love Seams products. They are hand savers. Um, Jan has said, Seams oil is the only thing that stops my nails splitting. I love it. Absolutely fantastic. Now, um, Let's just talk about sort of ethics here. Tested on animals? Not tested on animals. Paraben-free. This is all recyclable. Um, it's made, this tube is made with sugarcane resin. No way. Yeah, and up upcycled um, uh, plastic. So it's that's so yeah, cool. Yeah. I think this is the thing. You know, it, it's. I design fabric, and it's fabulous. Like working backwards from, I've been the end user. And now I create the product, so I actually have exactly what I want yes. in that product. You've done exactly the same with a hand cream. You've reverse engineered, you've created a cream which solves all of the problems, all of the reasons why you want a hand cream. That's it, it does, because you, you want a one-stop cream. You know, this is the hand cream, this is what it does, which yeah. is everything. Everything. And it's, it's a minute to put on. I mean, not even a minute, you just, rub it in uh, also make sure when you're putting it in that you get in between your fingers like this in that in there every, um, single, every part. single part and that's it um down your wrists yeah and just the actual um action of of mm. rubbing your hands like that gets your blood flowing oh as well. and it's the smell too i it's just love smell. i love even when i opened the box <laughs> and karen actually caught me doing this <laughs> When I opened the box earlier on before we came on air, the very first thing I did was, oh, it's just that. And I always say it smells like an expensive spa. 
this spot. Not masculine, not feminine. No, because a lot of people have been, um, I, I'm getting calls saying, oh, our hus my husband took my hand cream, he's a gardener. Yes. Um, so it's just for makers, creators, movers and shakers. Love it. For hardworking hands. Love yeah. it, yeah. And now you might have spotted at home this incredible new packaging. Now we've got a little message here. Morning both, loving the new packaging. Blue is my favorite color. I've already checked out my hand cream. Thank you. Yeah. That's from Leanne in West Yorkshire. Now the packaging is absolutely beautiful. We'll talk about that in a second, but the question I want to know is, is the product inside the same? Because I love the old Seams hand cream. The product is exactly the Perfect. same. Um, this, okay. is, this is never going to... I just fancied a change of colour. So that's literally the reason why you changed the packaging? That's it. You know, like... Um, I don't know, when, you're, when you've spent months sewing um, a quilt uh -huh. and then you, you, you take a new colour yeah. and it's so exciting. That, that, that was just, just it. It is just glorious. Nice message about husband here. Oh, it's on Facebook, sorry. Um, <laughs> Fia, from Fiona, it helped moisturise my husband's hand whilst it was in an arm cast. Alleviated the skin dryness when the cast was removed from his elbow. That's it. Elbows and heels. This is this is actually so perfect. we can use it elsewhere. Use it on your elbows. And elbows are something you actually forget about. You don't realise until, in fact, like when a husband had the cast taken off, that was when they would have looked at the elbows. But For sure. Yeah, el I use it elbows, hips, and heels to try and keep. Um, yeah. So you can use it on any part of your body that needs extra moisture and protection. Yes, and in Perfect. fact, if you put it on your feet in the morning, um, if you're standing all day, and you, you put this on in the morning, it keeps your skin soft and you, you can stand for longer. I love it. You know it. that achy feet. Stop stops achy feet. <laughs> now, good, uh, this is a great question from Laurie who asks, Karen, would a nurse benefit from this hand cream? Thanks. Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, you, you must be washing your hands more than anybody. Um, and in fact, um, during the pandemic, I sent loads up to the hospitals and they, they were so grateful. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. And Seams is made in the UK. Yeah, all made in the UK, packaging, product, um, everything. I want to keep it here. We have such wonderful factories that, that are, I don't think people realise our manufacturing business is so professional and yeah. stunning and also I like to walk into the factory I love going in there when they're making making it and the, the smell is all, all and you see all this cream in um, the big churning we need to do a video there Karen yeah. we need to send a little crew with you don't we oh, that'd be lovely. do a little behind the scenes of scenes yeah it's, I so, love that. it's so exciting you get the tubes like there's a this whole machine and and the tubes sorry are going round and round and they they drop down and they're filled and then they gorgeous they it's so fun isn't it <laughs> yeah. it's like I, I don't know i just love it over half of the stock has already gone karen um we're all loving seams lots of you multi-buying this is great for gifting isn't it's it it's perfect and this will last 24 months unopened well it'll last 12 months open 24 months unopened so if you you're going to somebody or you need a gift and you've got stock in your in your cupboard mm -hmm. um, and everybody it's become an essential product it's become like toothpaste absolutely like toothpaste is for the t uh, teeth well it this is, is for, for me it is yeah. for me i mean obviously here on air my hands are on show when i'm teaching my hands are on show but also just when i'm working i want my hands to feel nice and also what happens is when you uh, as you get to your 30s you start losing collagen in your hands. Well, I'll have to keep that in mind when I get there. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, <laughs> double, double back, I've seen it. I've almost doubled that. Um, and, and your skin gets thinner as well. Um, and it, it's much easier to break, which is why keeping it moisturized is so important and it will slow down the signs of aging. Love it. It's so gorgeous. Now, also, rather importantly, this is the brand new packaging's first time out on shopping TV, it isn't is, it? Yes. This is an it's exclusive. Only just come in. We're so excited. We're thrilled to have it here on on Sewing Street, Karen. We Thank all you. all of us love it. Even our director, Bruce. <laughs> I said to him earlier on, "Do you want some cream?" He was walking through. He said, "Oh no, I've got mine in the gallery." Yes, I always leave the gallery a hand yeah, cream. Yeah, you know we just love it. And I think you know hand cream is one of those things. You, our hands are easy to neglect 
they work really hard for us, they're easy to neglect, but actually it's really easy to take care of them if you have, you know, a seams next to your bed uh, and one on your desk and one in your, in hand your bag. handbag yes. or your work bag even, like your sewing box, to have a tube. Yes, also um, in the car. Yeah. Um, Just reminds you, pop a little bit on and you're moisturised. Yes. Yeah. Now, a message from Nikki. I'm a nurse who's in Hampshire. Nikki's a nurse in Hampshire. I'm a nurse and I use it all the time. Oh, there we thank go. you, Nikki. I'm so, I'm so pleased. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. It's just beautiful. Now, talking of people who uh, use seams, who uses seams? Um, I want you to. I'm, we don't care about name dropping here on, on Sewing Street. I've already mentioned Arnold Schwarzenegger this morning. Okay, oh, um, I'd like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Can he not come in and visit yeah, us? Yeah, I'm going to ask him. He's on my, he's on my speed dial. Okay. But, but come on, drop a few names. Oh, um, Kelly Osborne, <gasps> um, Anthea Turner, oh, really? Aldi Ray. And he, he insists on using this before he goes on screen as well. He's because he said it's not greasy. Um, it's in the make, uh, backstage at ITV, Good Morning Britain. Netflix call it in all the time um, <gasps> for all their programs, their films that they're making, Handmaid's Tale, uh, Suits, and I often want to get in the box with it when it's going out I to bet Canada. You do. Yeah. do you do you hand deliver to, to those? Well, I've told them I will. <laughs> <laughs> that the flight was uh, not not included though in the no, flight. They I weren't too care. happy with that. I pay for my flights. Because you know what actually always happens? Um, people forget about their hands. Um, and wherever I am, if I'm having dinner or um, I was on a Zoom um, last week with uh, with America and. They always suddenly say, oh, they, their right. hands, oh my gosh, I need that. So I'm sure when you're, you're sitting at home, you suddenly look at your hands and feel them. If you're doing this, yes. or if, you're, if you pinch your skin, you see mine goes right back quickly. <gasps> if it nice. doesn't go back quickly, oh, um, you're hydrated. <laughs> you're dehydrated, sorry. Your skin <laughs> and your body, yeah. It's just a reminder, isn't it, to take care of every part of your body, but also your hands, our hands do such hard work for us hands and feet we don't realize do we until something goes wrong well, just how much they do for yeah, us yeah i mean these are the the we've got more nerves in our hands than any other part of the body which is why if you're doing work you can feel everything yes. but if your hands are dry you just they're not they're not as sensitive and your hands True. are the most hard working part of our body we they, uh, except when you're asleep, they don't stop. But e even then, you've got your sheets that are taking um, the moisture from your hands. So, it's an amazing product, Karen. Like I say, we've all we all love it here at Sewing Street. I've been using it for years. I absolutely adore the brand new packaging. It's Thank so you. glamorous, and it's that. It's that step between blue and purple, isn't yeah, it? It's, it's just it's, somewhere um, between. It's actually like an in, uh, indigo. Yeah. I've become obsessed with hair. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we've got the pink inside, and um, it's just a lovely box when you're giving it as a gift. It is, um, it's absolutely and it's gorgeous. Uh, male or female, so. <clears throat> absolutely. I think then once it's out of the packaging, it's very smart, it's very chic, it's gender neutral, it's not got flowers all over it. Um, in terms of the amount, when we're using this, I'm, I'm, uh, just I'll be honest with you, Karen, I'm guilty of overusing using too much yeah. how much should I be using well you just use a tiny drop like that um, rub it in quickly because it does dry in um, put any excess on your wrists and a little tip if um, when you get to the bottom snip the top of the uh, tube off and there is you you can scrape out what's left Good. inside I like so it. you just don't you don't waste anything. I approve Karen we don't want to waste <laughs> a drop <laughs> We'll come back to the hand cream in a second. I just want to give you a little stock update because we're having a very busy morning. Lots and lots of you multi-buying too. Lots of you buying for the first time too. Just ordered my first seams. Can't wait to try it, says Carol, who's in the West Midlands. Oh, please let us know how you it's get amazing. on. Now, don't forget, everybody who buys anything at all, including seams hand cream, will be entered into a prize draw on our shop to win. There it is. You could win motor fabrics, a quilt kit, 
There's all sorts up for grabs. Literally buy anything today and you could be entered into that prize draw. Fiona asked a question, Karen. Yep. Yeah. Will you be bringing out a face cream or a suntan lotion? Well, as it so happens, Fiona, oh. Oh, we've got an SBF coming out at Is the end like of the year. Is this like an exclusive? I love it. Yes, yes, I haven't it. We've got, it's exactly the same. Mm -hmm. um, it's just in testing at the moment because we thoroughly test everything. Um, the same hand cream, SBF 30. Yeah. And, I love that. And, and everybody, people have been using this on their faces as well because it's so beautiful. So we have got a face cream coming out. I don't know that that will be this year. But anti-aging is all about SPF, isn't it? It's SPF about protection is so from important. The skin. Yes, I've got, yes, I can't, I'm so excited for that. To That's come. awesome. Seems outdoors. Seems <laughs> outdoors. What a great question, Fiona. Thanks for that. Now then, hand oil. We have a very, very limited number of these hand oils. Now, Karen, tell me about hand oil right. or hand and nail, nail oil. oil. Well, this has actually got in it, um, let me get it, get out my... Gorgeous. Yeah. This has actually got in it also 10, ten ingredients um, and it's got the macadamia and rosehip oil in it as well mm. to moisturise and nourish and restore. So this is very restorative. Um, so is this almost like a treatment? Or a daily, how would we use it and when do we use this, it in our This routine? is, you can use it as a treatment. You can use it instead of the hand cream, whichever, whichever you prefer. Or you can use it, put it on at night underneath the hand cream. So put that on first, hand cream on top. on top. And then, I mean, you're getting, you're getting, um, you're getting 20 ingredients going into your hands. Amazing. And also like absorption during the night as well uh, when we're not washing our hands. Yes. And your, your skin heals while you're sleeping. Um, that, that's when it starts to rejuvenate. So you're giving it that extra. Also, just drop it onto your cuticles. Uh, well, this is really I what it is. It's cu cuticle nail oil, could... cuticle um, hand and nail oil. And you don't actually need to, Ooh. you don't, you, you can squeeze it in, but actually all you have to do is, um, Tap it. Literally tap. tap. So this will, this will last a couple of months. Um, and just if rub I it just, in. Oh, just do a little bit of a demo there. Oh, this is this is all my dreams and, made and, real. Uh, well, if I got particularly dry knuckles. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> we actually once had. Um, I was doing a photo shoot, um, and uh, the biker, the guy that was the cameraman, came in on uh, on his bike, and he was a big, sort of big, you know, real burly. man, yeah, burly. Um, and he said uh, his knuckles were. Um, Did you get his number? <laughs> he was actually. Old, no. <laughs> Uh, and I got him to phone me again because... I bet you did. <laughs> because he, his knuckles were really dry and red. Uh -huh. And I said, use the hand cream. He's like, oh. oh no. I said, no, that. no, no, please use it. And he did ring me the next day. He said, that was fantastic. So... I could <laughs> and learn he was from about you, the knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. That feels so luxurious. It's sort of an at-home spa treatment, isn't it? You know, really nourish. Oh, gosh, that just feels... Oh, smell. smell. Yeah, and it's particularly for cuticles and nails. This focuses, um, this really focuses on the cuticle, your cuticles and nails. I've had people, um, it's particularly during the pandemic, who had taken off their acrylic nails, mm -hmm. and the nails underneath are really, um, really bad yeah. then. And they were using um, this, and within, I'd say, two weeks, the nails are smooth and, and back to mm. normal. A little bit of buffing mm. and this. And, and also as well, I mean, we were talking earlier on, I qualified as a nail, ticks, nail tech some years ago. Um, who knew? And and actually, that was the biggest sort of take home. If you've had acrylic nails, if you've had, if you've got acrylic nails or gel nails or just gel polish, is to use the seams uh, nail oil just tapping on the base and that will then seep into your natural nail at its it growing does, point. It does, because there's always a little space there. Mm. And, and keeping the cuticles sealed, as I said before, mm. really protects, um, protects the new nail underneath. Super important. And this About is to sell out, Karen. About to sell out. And, and it's not greasy. This hand cream has sold out. Sorry to... Wow, so hand cream completely sold out now. Nail oil about to sell out. We just love your products. I'm Please sorry. do Thank more. You. I have and I'll bring my SPF on here first. Yes, I'm super excited about that. Is that whole body? 
Well, yes, that, that's so, no. That is there is no. That's just for hands. There oh. is there is a lot of products in development though, and they're all going to be based on exactly the same formula. So now then, hand sanitizer, Karen. Something I am still dedicated to using. I love my ha I hand sanitizer. I don't think I'll, I'll ever stop using Me sanitizer. Neither. I, you know, I don't want to shake hands with anybody. Right. So I don't think I'll ever shake hands again either. Um, and just in shops. And yeah. when I'm in public places, where there are those sort of like high touch, high contact places, the hand sanitizer comes out. Yeah, because often um, wherever you pay now, you have to key in your um, right. co code, and, and it's not just um, the coronavirus; it's germs in general get, get, get spread like this. Absolutely. So. Oh gosh, so. yeah, yeah. No, I, I I think it's great. Now then, hand sanitizer on its own. So we've got that hand sanitizer here. Now, tell me about your hand sanitizer, Karen, because I know you've put a lot of time and effort into every one of your products. Well, this had to be um, non-greasy and non-sticky, which which it is. It mm -hmm. sinks straight in, and this has got pro vitamin B five in it that moisturises and hydrates. Mm -hmm. So what's happening is, although it's got the seventy percent alcohol that's killing all um, all the bacteria. You've, the moisturising from the pro vitamin B5 is counteracting that. So I've got, I've had customers ring me up and say, I want to use it anyway because it, it's moisturising well, my quite. hands and really freshens your hands. I use I use the Seams hand sanitizers when I just want to freshen my hands, not because they're dirty, but because I don't know maybe I've been working for a while or you know I just want to freshen up. Fresh and like, yeah, and you're, you're working with such beautiful fabrics. Um, mm. You just want clean hands going going on that. And I also, again, love the smell. Yep, and Sometimes the, it's just to, so I can smell no, it. The, yeah, I know, everybody's asking me for a candle, actually, because of the that smell. That would be gorgeous. So. That would be gorgeous. Well, Nivea, have, I don't know, so just brought out a fragrance. So you can but, smell of Nivea hand cream well, or when, face cream. When, when I was doing the... Um, the the um, fragrance for this. Mm. I'd actually said I want it like a baby powder, like a mm. Nivea. Um, and the beautiful thing is as well, as you open the tube, you, you're getting the scent, but as it goes into the hands, the scent disappears. Mm -hmm. So it's not transferring anywhere. No, it's just lovely. I always say it smells like an expensive spa. And I've Thank been you. in lots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you're getting the hand cream, get yourself a hand sanitizer. Keep them in your bag together. Um, sanitize your hands. Remember, it also has moisturizers in there, so it's going to moisturize. It's that vitamin B five. A pro there. vitamin B five. Pro and, B5. and you know, this is just a silly thing, really, but uh, it's coincidence. It's got the yellow cap, so you know when you're rummaging in your handbag for something. You can see it straight away. Absolutely. That's, that's <laughs> a really good point. Yeah, My just... bag is like a bottomless pit. So it is, anything isn't it? that can help me, I, I appreciate. You know, you're, you're, I always look at, you think something's not there. Right. But it is. Yeah. But you just can't. Find well, it. you can't see something that is there. Case in point, I was going to, um, I was at the airport and I checked my bag about three times. When I went through, they found my dressmaker's shears <gasps> in my bag. I mean, massive. Oh, like. my gosh. Did, they must have pulled they you to the side. I mean, really, really. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I was in trouble that day. Yeah. Karen, it's been such a pleasure to meet you, you and to see your amazing products and to meet the creator at last. Thank you. It's so lovely to be here and to meet you too. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Now, um, We'll, I'm going to be moisturising my hands for the rest of the morning. They feel fabulous. Um, we've got some other gift ideas coming up and also a few more books that I want to share with you. Remember, it's Shop to Win right now, today. Um, and um, so what all you need to do is buy anything today, anything at all, and um, you'll be entered into the prize draw to win a prize. We'll be picking prize winners. There's a Moda quilt kit to win. There's lovely Moda fabrics. There's all sorts of gorgeous prizes up for grabs. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is to buy something today. Maybe you've already bought your lovely Seams hand cream or a sanitizer. Maybe you've bought Jenny Jackson's new English paper piecing book. You'll be entered into the prize draw. What a great bonus. Now, if you're thinking about hands, we also have some manicure sets. Uh, now then, ah, 
Let me go down and grab. Thank you. We... Here we go. <laughs> As if by magic, here I appear. Now then, um, these manicure sets, uh, we've got Golden Lily and Strawberry Thief in navy. Now let me show you what you've got. These are absolutely beautiful. They are um, William Morris designs on the outside and it's almost like, um, it feels almost like a fabric that's been applied to the case. Uh, really beautiful, gorgeous design. And it's not just on the lid, it wraps all the way around the whole case. So I mean, a really beautiful thing in its own right. And then inside, you've got a manicure set. So I'm just gonna show you that there. So you've got things like nail, two sizes of nail clipper. You've got your nail scissors. And then you've also got, oops, a file. These are little, uh, little cuticle knife. And also some tweezers in there as well. Gorgeous little gift set. So a great little set to buy and then add that to perhaps your seams hand cream and a sanitizer. Lovely little gift bag. You could make a lovely gift bag to go with it. I'm sure you've got a little bit of fabric stashed away, a little zippy bag or something like a little drawstring bag and pop those inside. So that's the Golden Lily. And then we've also got the same design in Strawberry Thief. Let me just grab that out. This is the um, Strawberry Thief in navy. Can't find the end of the packet. There we go, I've got it. <laughs> okay, so this is the Strawberry Thief in blue. Really gorgeous design, isn't it? I mean, if you're thinking of a classic William Morris design, Strawberry Thief is always the one that I think of. And you've got that same design on the back as well. And then inside, you've got your manicure set, your file, your cuticle knife, tweezers, nail clippers, and also nail scissors too. You could always, of course, if you wanted to, you could keep your uh, manicure things perhaps in a little bag or another little, and use this perhaps to house your embroidery scissors, your thimble, needle and thread, and have this as a little sewing kit. So something that you can keep, very, very giftable. Love that, ever so pretty. So that's your William Morris manicure set. Absolutely gorgeous. Gosh, my hands do feel absolutely wonderful. They feel so nourished and soft. I shan't be washing them for the rest of the day. <laughs> Now then, don't forget, if you buy a manicure set, you'll be entered into our prize draw, shop to win. Keep that in mind throughout the day. Every time you shop, you get another chance in the shop to win. That's right, isn't it? The more you buy. Mm. Now, we've also got some gorgeous mugs for gifting. great for gifting. I'm sure lots of you have been thinking that this morning when you were buying the Seams hand cream. One for you, one for mum or a friend or um, these mugs are also great for gifting. Great to go in that present drawer. Now let's start with the pink one. Now these actually, one of these I took the last time I filmed um, Kirsty's Handmade Christmas for Channel 4. I took one of these mugs <laughs> on set um, and had my cup of tea. In fact, I had a couple of mugs. Kirsty might have drunk out of the, the, the wool mug. Anyway, I thought a bit of product placement, why not? <laughs> but it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the sort of iridescence of this one. Can you see that gorgeous sort of almost like sparkle? Really beautiful. Um, just like a big ball of wool. And you've got your little needle parked there. Um, good capacity as well, actually. And anyone who knows me knows that I live on tea um, and literally cannot sew a seam without a mug of tea next to me. So um, why should I have to? Oh, well, I won't. I simply won't. I refuse. <laughs> Comes gift boxed as well. So really good one that for your present draw. So that's in the pink. We also do it in the grey as well, which I think is lovely. 
scrub that one out too. And I know they won't come in time for Easter, but they are a good alternative if you're seeing people perhaps next weekend. They're a good non-chocolate alternative. That's the silver grey. Again, lovely. Really like that. Yes, I'm thinking, there we go, a little birthday present, a bit of tissue paper. Hmm, very nice. Very nice. You could also pour hot chocolate in it. <laughs> I love a hot chocolate in the morning. That's my drink of choice. In the morning, hot chocolate. Yeah, in the morning, yeah. I know a lot of people drink it at bedtime, don't they, to put them to sleep. But I find the combination of sort of the sweetness and the, you know, the sort of, um, I don't know, yeah. Just gets me going in the morning. That's what does it for me. Now, oh, excellent. So I'm just hearing that we're, we're getting, we're just talking with Carol at the moment about getting some more hand cream in because it absolutely flew up. We do have a couple of limited edition gift sets. They are limited edition now because um, Karen is actually phasing out the golden yellow and bringing in the blue. Same products inside, of course, but just a different look. So um, we do have, yeah, yeah. You want me to grab it? Uh, is that the this one here with this? Yep, and the. Tape measure, yes, okay. Let me see. Okay, got uh and gloves. No gloves, okay, so this isn't the right one. Okay, there we go. That's easier anyway, isn't it? <clears throat> We've only got a handful of these, but absolutely gorgeous. So you're getting a free hand sanitizer, but inside the gift bag, gift bag's beautiful, isn't it? You're getting a hand cream, you're getting a hand sanitizer, and you're also getting the gorgeous tape measure um absolutely fab so this is um all produced by seams you can see there it's the seams on the side um, there's your tape measure really smart i love that uh, little fob on the end uh, inches on one side centimeters on the other and then you just squeeze squeeze the tape measure and it retracts absolutely brill so useful I was quilting a quilt yesterday and realised that I'd left my tape measure at home. Couldn't measure. Not, not good. Not good at all. So you, with that one, you are getting a free hand sanitizer as well. So you get two hand sanitizers, a hand cream, tape measure and that gorgeous gift bag. Now, we are hoping to get more of the newly packaged blue box cream. This is the original. This is the original packaging. But we've literally only got 12 left. Oh, Nicola's starting to think now about what could go in her woolly mug. Uh, I love a hot chocolate with mini marshmallows and a bit of Baileys. Yum, yum, Nicola. Nicola, I'm, I'm, we were talking breakfast now. We were talking breakfast. But the mini marshmallows does sound gorgeous. And the Baileys I'll have later. And now we've got one more gift set. This one has the gloves and a nail file. So I've got that right here. There we go. So now when I first saw this gift set, I thought that the gloves were treatment gloves, you know, put the hand cream on, put the gloves on, go to bed. But these are actually quilters gloves. These are quilters gloves. So let me show you what I mean. You've got your hand sanitizer. You've got your nail file. Uh, you've also got your hand cream as well. It's a 75 millilitre. Uh, then you're also getting a pair of quilters gloves. Now I'm just going to grab these out and show you. <clears throat> so what makes them different? Again, all branded with seams. What you're also getting then on the underside are these dimples all over the surface. Okay, so you can see there all these little dimples. And what they do is they grip the fabric. So a little bit like, you know, the, um, the tray mats that you can buy to stop your teacup and saucer slipping and sliding around on a tray. It's the same kind of principle. These little dots 
rubbery dots will grip the fabric particularly good when you're free motion machine quilting or machine quilting so pop these on and you'll suddenly have loads more grip on your quilt sandwich as you're moving it around under your machine if you find when you're machine quilting or even piecing you know that your hands get fatigued and tired try the gloves see if it makes a difference I think they're great um, and you get them included in the gift bag with the hand cream the uh, nail file and the gorgeous hand sanitizer but we've got single figures of that gift set left really really lovely gift to yourself or to someone else as soon as we know about getting more stock in, by the way, of the new packaging, um, we'll let you know. Nicola says, it doesn't matter what time of the day, a hot chocolate is essential. Nicola, oh, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. Uh, also, just a little, um, little, bit of, little bit of goss. Karen and I were talking, and she was telling me she's going to be bringing out a 30 mil handbag size of the hand cream, which will be fab. We'll be getting that. We'll be getting that. Don't worry. Now... I mentioned earlier on Jenny Jackson's brand new book. I'm super impressed with this book. Now, um, it launched just a few days ago with Jenny and in the live show, everything went, um, sold out really, really quickly. We've managed to get some more stock in. It's right here. It's Jenny Jackson's English paper piecing workshop. Uh, it's a brand new book. Now you've got 18 different projects and they have a really wonderful, modern, fresh feel to them. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and if you've done English paper piecing before and maybe just tried hexagons, Jenny Jackson really, really pushes the boundaries of the shapes that you can use. Just gorgeous. The photography is really inspiring too. She's made some beautiful projects here that are absolutely beautifully uh, displayed. And this is Jenny Jackson's first book. I tell you what, it won't be her last. It's a gorgeous book, full of beautiful projects. At the back of it also, you've got all of your templates, full-size templates for all your English paper piecing shapes. So you can cut out <clears throat> as many as you want and make the projects again and again and again no enlarging required or anything like that just a smashing book and the price is amazing 13.99 for jenny's brand new book beautifully produced the photography is just stunning isn't it really gorgeous and i love the sort of jenny's given paper piecing a makeover it's fresh it's modern it's just delightful and I've never met Jenny, would you believe? I've never done a show with her. We've never had time together, so we need to correct that. Toot sweet. Toot sweet. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, don't forget, if you shop today, you're into our prize draw, our shop to win prize draw. <coughs> Now here's how it works. <clears throat> We've got all sorts of lovely prizes, Moda quilt kit, We've got motor fabrics, pre-cuts. <clears throat> you can win those prizes simply by buying something today. Uh, we will pick winners. And I think they'll be announced on Tuesday. Um, so literally anything you buy. And don't forget you can check out multiple times throughout the day. You only pay 1p and p. But I believe, we'll check, but I believe every time you shop, you get entered into this prize draw. So the more times you shop today, the more chances you've got of winning. Okay. We're going to go to a little break. When we come back, we will have the wonderful Susie Duncan with not one, but two projects. We've got her gorgeous patchwork bag and we've got absolutely delightful Liberty uh, Cathedral window cushion. So don't go away. Um, at 10 o'clock. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Hannah's just reminded me, at 10 o'clock, I'll be announcing the winner of our Search for a Sewing Star. This is when the winner's going to find out too. So if you are one of those sewing stars that we had on air, make sure you're tuned in. If you know any of them, give them a ring or a text and make sure they're watching. Because at 10 o'clock, I will be announcing to everybody who has won our competition. So do stay tuned. I'll see you after this break. Mm -hmm. 
Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. 
get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hi everybody, welcome back. We're having a busy morning here on Sewing Street. It's the start of the Easter weekend. So it's wonderful to have your company. Please stay with us till one o'clock. We've got a special competition running today, Shop to Win. What that means is every single time you shop with us today, you'll be entered into the prize draw to win a motor bundle, a quilt kit, pre-cuts. So, and literally every time you shop, is a new entry into the prize draw. So the more times you shop with us today, the more chances you've got of winning. Anything at all you buy, wonderful. Now, search for a star winner will be announced at 10 o'clock live and that's when the star is going to find out that they've won as well so um, if you're one of those people that came on air do make sure you're tuned in or if you know them give them a shout um, 10 o'clock i will be announcing the winner of our search for a star now talking of sewing stars <laughs> susie duncan's in the house hey high five how are you i'm good thank you looking how are you? very very spring like oh, well i'm trying Gorgeous. How yeah. are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. It's great to have you back yeah, on Sewing good Street. To be here. With yeah. not one but two projects. I know. Mental. Just in this hour. I know. And then we've got a quilt kit later. Crazy. Fabulous. I yeah, love it's it. It's been a busy workroom. We like to keep you busy. I know. It's but good. we've got some gorgeous, gorgeous projects today. Some of our favourites actually. We're going to start with Cathedral Window. Now I'll just show you this is a previous sample. This is the technique. Now you might have tried doing this by hand in the past. You might have done this before. Normally this is a hand sewn technique, right? It is, yeah. And I think most of us have tried doing hand sewn Cathedral Window and have still got those pieces <laughs> in a drawer somewhere that we keep meaning to go back and finish. This is completely machine sewn cathedral window, which sounds too good to be true. It's, yeah, it's the cheats method. Love really. it, love it. Because like you, time's too short. Yeah, you're not kidding. It's all about the hack these days. So we're gonna learn how to do cathedral window by machine today. Now, we've got some gorgeous bundles and I love that you've used Liberty. This is could so not, gorgeous. Could I? Not really. Um, this is <clears throat> the blue. This is the blue. It's not quite the same as the image on the web, but this is what you're going to be getting. So, with a mixture of um, which, Emily Bell, which is this one right here, you're getting half a meter of this, which is absolutely gorgeous. I, I think Emily Bell might be my current favourite fabric. Emily Bell is definitely marked. Just my beautiful. List. This is going to be around forever, isn't it? Yes. This fabric. Oh yeah. I mean, it is their vintage collection. Yeah. So it is definitely going to be around forever. But they're just going to add to it. Fabulous. I love it. Then you're also getting Wiltshire Shadow. You get a meter of that. And then you also get. This is a, meet, a half a metre of Sally Ann. Is this Sally Ann Harrison? She's, yes. Yeah, she, she's she the name. Commissioned. Her name. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. gorgeous. So that's what you get. Plus, you get your instructions. Cathedral window cushion cover, a simplified way. That's the blue bundle. Now, similar to the image on the web, by the way, not the same, but those are the fabrics you're going to get in that bundle. Now, second bundle that we've got here is the yellow version, which I will lay out. So what you're getting here is you're getting half a metre of Emily Bell. This Now, this colour is... Magnolia. Magnolia. Not that I'm a geek on <laughs> I love it. Well, I can look at a quilt and say where the fabrics came from. So, you know, you're in good company. <laughs> That's delicious, isn't it? It is. I love that colour. It's such a fabulous blender as yeah. well as everything else. It's so soft and gentle, it isn't is it? But gorgeous. it's there. And it's fabulous for little girls' dresses. Oh, yeah, completely. Then you're also getting half a metre of Wiltshire Shadow. This is Lemon, which is gorgeous though isn't it it's like sunshine yeah i mean it's a real daffodil yellow isn't proper it? daffodil yellow gorgeous. and then you get a meter of wiltshire shadow in white now i think the cameras can pick up really quite well that gorgeous design 
even on a white that is such a beautiful design. So you get a metre of that plus your instructions. So that's the yellow bundle. So there are two bundles for the cathedral window. Now you can do the instructions on their own if you like. So for that, details are on screen now. It's 9 99 for Susie Duncan's cathedral window instructions. And you've got full instructions on how to cut, how to piece, how to create cathedral window by machine, not hand. And lots and lots of uh, colour photographs as well on the back taking you step by step through all of those techniques which you're also going to show us today. I am. It also includes, if you want to turn it into a quilt, yep. I've given you the mm. measurements and the extra pieces that oh, you need. Fantastic. Just a mere 2,160 pieces to put together. Oh, I <laughs> say. Well, you're certainly making it sound tempting. We're not doing that this morning. We're not doing that in this <laughs> demo, but you could. You could. I mean, absolutely glorious. And this is one that you made previously, isn't yes. it? So this is the size of the cushion. Is it a 16 inch? Yeah. 18 inch? Yeah, it's an 18 inch, so you can put a 20 inch um, filler in. It depends how full you like your cushions. Mm. I tend to go two inches bigger with my cushion pad. Me too. So, because I like a, a well stuffed cushion. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. And what a lovely opportunity as well to sort of show off special fabric as well. And you it really is a gorgeous add, kind of sorry, focal point. Interrupt. You could even add little buttons where the points meet as well. Yes. Yes, that would I've be lovely. Which I've done in the past. Use up your scraps to just um, cover self-decorative buttons, or that just lovely. if you've got a stash of buttons that you mm. really love, or they mean buttons. something. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, that's a could, nice idea. Yeah. So it's certainly a project you could make and make time and time again. Great technique to learn. Looking forward to that. So that's our machine-stitched cathedral window. Now then. We'll just go through the second project that's going to be in the second part. I'm going to show you the bag first of all. So the second project that you're going to be showing today is your patchwork bag. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's quite cute, isn't it's it? It's such a lovely bag. Really lovely. Featuring some patchwork front and back. Little tie sides. Gorgeous little handle. And then inside we've got a little bit more patchwork. And then also a, well, I call them letterbox zips. Yeah. Now and then. And the, the pattern also does a magnetic clasp as well. Oh, fantastic. Which we didn't, I didn't do on that sample just to show a di you know, point of difference. But, yep. But um, you've got instructions that absolutely, for adding yes. it. Yeah. Now, the bundle that we've got here, this is the square patchwork quilted bag. You've got um, Wiltshire Shadow in Storm, a fat quarter of that. So you'll use that for your piecing. You get half a meter of Osnaberg. This is for the outside of the bag. And then you also get a um, bright Alice Caroline Liberty charm pack. And you get 36 two and a half inch squares of bright Liberty lawn. So that's for your piecing. And just to show you how the bag looks, that is gorgeous. Now, a quarter of that stock has already gone, Susie. Oh, gosh. Already gone. Very, very popular. What a lovely bag for spring and summer. It is. And you can get so much in it. We like that. <laughs> it doubles as a lunch bag as well. Oh, that's a cool idea. Yeah. Because, I mean, the profile's really good, isn't it? You've yeah. got a nice... I'm just going to undo the ties. Yeah. You can undo the ties, can't you? Oh, I always undo the ties. Do you? Yeah. What's the crap? So you can cram more in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know me too well, Stuart. <laughs> but that is a I great size. I always a book on the go, so I need the room. Oh, isn't that lovely? I love that piecing down the sides. Well, when you think, when you have a bag over your shoulder, what is it that people see? when they're walking towards it's the you, side. it's the side, so yeah. why not make it pretty as well? I totally agree. And of course in there you would get your lunch, your lunch box, yep. your drink, your book, yep. and of course you've got your zip pocket there for security, cream. your hand cream, very good, hand sanitizer, absolutely. And my mask in the pocket, perfect. It's fabulous, good it's really take. gorgeous. So that's one option, but we've also got a gorgeous, pretty pink version. This is lush, yeah. absolutely gorgeous. So you're getting your half metre of Osnaberg. Then you're also getting your fat quarter. This is Emily Bell this time. This colour is... 
Now that's a oh, uh, we don't know. No, I don't know. We'll is find it out. Ro um, rose, is it? First time we've done like, these colourways, like by rose. the way. So if you've yeah. made Susie's bag the in the past, this is brand new. This is called powder rose. Oh, powder rose. Powder rose. rose. And then you're getting the Alice Caroline 36 piece charm pack. And this is in gorgeous soft pastel Liberty Lawn. Now, Susie, can I just ask yes. a quick question? We're mixing lawn with quilt weight cotton. We are. That's okay? It's absolutely Do we need fine. to do anything special to these? I haven't. No. No. Um, you don't need to. The, no. You will notice the difference in feel, yeah. obviously, because lawn is a lot lighter in, yes. in weight than quilting cotton, but they actually marry together really well. Great. Um, I did um, spray mine with Best Press. Yeah just to give it a bit of rigidity um, because you're cutting on the uh, gray uh, across the grain mm -hmm. for the Wiltshire shadow I just best pressed everything yep standard practice in my house yeah now if, you well. <laughs> <laughs> now if you want to get the instructions on their own for the patchwork bag you can also do that um, graphics are on screen right now uh, we'll work with any two and a half inch charm pack, right? Yes, absolutely. Or even if you're, you're going to your scraps, yeah. if you wanted to. Yeah. Now. Yeah, I've given you um, just the dimensions that you need to cut and the numbers you need to cut. So you can use your scraps if you don't want to use the bundles. Perfect. Or it's to go on and make more bag. once you've made your bundle. For sure, for sure. Um, lining wise, do I need to buy extra lining? No, it's all there. Oh, it's all there yeah, as well, the lining? You don't have a huge amount of fabric left over. We've done... I've designed it so that you're literally using the bundle um even the pocket even the pocket wow so okay the only thing you'll have to add is is obviously your zip and your magnetic clasp if you want those if you want to use it which you, we have got uh, the way the instructions are written you don't even have to add in a pocket and a zip and a magnetic clasp Lots you can make options. it just as a plain bag lots of options yeah. it's a really pretty bag now lovely message across the bottom good morning both looking forward to today's show as i'm not working today hurrah um i've bought Susie's lovely bag love your top Susie. love oh, trisha thank it you it's gorgeous thank you mm. <laughs> no one's mentioned my brand new shirt i like your shirt i love it I love a bit of Hawaiian. Yeah, I love and a bit I'm of a big foliage fan as me well. Too. Sorry, I was making that about me. No, it's fine. It's fine. Now, <laughs> cathedral, <laughs> cathedral window. You're working with the yellow bundle. I am. The Tell lemons. Me all. Oh, it's so gorgeous. This. So, um, when you when you get your fabric, iron it first um, because you want to take out all the creases from postage and pack packaging. Um, why can't you say that first thing in the morning? Are you a best presser? Would you best press oh, your fabric? Do you know what? I'm afraid I'm on you in your camp. Yeah. I best press everything. Um, yeah, it's the way to go. And for this especially, I've tried, a, I did a small run with and without, and the difference if you best press is quite remarkable. You get a much crisper seam. Um, especially for the window frames. You're doing a lot of pressing in this project. There's a aren't lot of you? pressing and that's going to help. And folding back. Right. So the the crisper you're pressing, the better the effect. Fab. So it's worth spending the time to do all that before you start. And you do that before you cut out any of the fabrics. I did. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the cutting isn't too onerous because it's all three and a half inch squares for both the um now the way i've i'm going to show you the f on the finit well part finished one so the oh that's lovely it's a bit zhuzh, isn't oh it's it? so pretty yeah absolutely cool did you pick your top to go with yeah i knew you had <laughs> i love that uh, i just yeah i really wanted to make this wow which is why i used so the uh, if I give you an orientation in the Susie world Please. of what this is, so the white Wiltshire white is the window frame. Okay. The um, Wiltshire shadow lemon is the picture. Picture, good. That goes in the frame. Indeed, and then you've got your background mount, which is your Liberty uh, Emily Bell. In Magnolia. Uh, in Magnolia. 
see we're on it <laughs> we're on it today um so that's the or that's what i mean in the description so you've got so you've got your background panels you've got your window frame and you've got your picture and if you can get your head around that yep if you want to mess around with things you've got enough fabric with your window frame so the wiltshire white or the uh, Wiltshire Indigo in mm -hmm. the blue set to do the frame and you've got enough to cut your backing pieces. Oh great, so we get our envelope so you, back. Yes. Now and just while we're talking about windows, frames, yep. backgrounds, yep. just so that we know with the blue, yep. this deep indigo Wiltshire shadow, this is going to be for the... That's your frame. So that's the window frames because you've and got the envelope back. And the envelope back, yes. In the deep blue. That's going to look stunning. It is going to look amazing. And then the Emily Bell is going to be for well, your... Well, you can mix and match those because you've got the same amount of fabric and you're cutting... Um, the window frame... Uh, the window, the backgrounds are three and a half inch squares, but the pictures are three and three quarter inches. Just but you've bigger. still got enough fabric of both to, to mix oh, it cool. around so if you want to do half and half yep. or um, change it you can it's not a problem so the only thing that's set is which fabric you use yes. for the frames yeah I mean cool. even if you decide you want to use one of the um, liberties as your frame not the Wiltshire shadow if you use the Wiltshire shadow to do your backing and then the what's left, you can marry that into oh, the equation. Okay. So you can mix and so match. So you if can you want. mix and match, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. It it's been not uh, well orchestrated so you can do what works for you. Mm -hmm. What works for your decor. So you're gonna cut all your pieces. You can see how much you've got left. Oh, so we even get a few leftovers. Yeah, well Yummy. I've got all this left. So you could make another smaller one if you wanted. So three and a half inch squares, and you need um, to cut 72 in your Wiltshire Shadow that's going to be your, or whichever is going to be your frame, mm -hmm. and you need 36 in whatever's going to be your background. So I've got 36 of my, well I did have, I haven't anymore, <laughs> um, because I've sewn them together, but what I have done is deliberately not cut the last one of my Wiltshire shadow just for anyone out there who's new to this and has never cut before bear with me while I grab my ruler out my bag which I forgot to get out so I've cut a three and a half inch strip width of fabric once I've ironed a best pressed and then I'm going to cut that into sub cut that into three and a half inch squares now if you're um, careful about how you cut not over careful i.e. just take the selvages off then you can get 12 out of one width of fabric strip. Okay. So that will give you an idea of how many strips you've got to cut. Three, basically, or six of the Wiltshire shadows. So there's my three and a half inch squares. And those, then it's a pressing, your first lot of pressing. So let's grab the iron, which should be on but doesn't seem to be on. That's there we go. There you go, we're on. So what you're <coughs> going to then do, so this is a sit in front of the TV job, but only for a very short programme, because <laughs> it doesn't take long. Maybe EastEnders, for example. Yeah, yeah. Any of those short-lived programmes. Now, Wiltshire Shadow, let me try and show on camera. I don't know if we can see this. Uh, if I put it under, over a darker background, you've probably got more of a chance. One of these is the right way up and one of these is the wrong way up. Let's do that and then it's not going to be in the graphics. You're actually moving everything over to your yeah. left a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Just move the whole board. Ah, there we perfect. are. Perfect, thank okay. you. Okay, so this one is actually the right way up. And the way you can tell that, if you're above it, you can see because it looks like the paint. Oh, it's screen printed but the printing finishes cleanly so you've got a nice clean image kind of brighter and whiter it is it? if it's the wrong way up and I have done projects with it deliberately the wrong way around because mm -hmm. I quite like this it's almost like it's vignetted so it's slightly a uh, hazier finish mm -hmm. yeah so you can tell which is which. You are actually going to press all of these. So let's go back to our press mat. Um, 
wrong sides together diagonally in half and you want this to be as precise as you possibly can get it. There are no pressing police as there are no quilting police. So no one's going to come round and knock on your door if it's not absolutely 100% spot on. But the best you can get is what I'm going to say. And it is going to make a difference, isn't it, to absolutely. the finished result? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely it is. So the, and, and being able to press it exactly in half isn't just about being good at pressing, it's about being good at cutting, isn't it? Yes, so if you find, say for example when you fold it and this corner works and this corner doesn't, so you've got a gap, something's gone wrong with your measurements yeah it's the cutting that's yeah so just re-measure and probably just a fraction of a trim is going to sort yep. you out so maybe just cut one or two squares first of all to see how they fold it. and press yeah and then mm. yeah this would be an ideal it. time i think i mean i love die cutting fabrics yeah for the precision the yeah. easy precision you get out of die cutting absolutely fabric. So yeah. this would be a good, good uh, it candidate. It would be a good, very good. So we press all of our frames press in half. Press all of those, absolutely every single one of them, in okay. half okay. to make triangles. And then for each background square, you're going to take two of your triangles. And your background squares are three and a half inches. Yep. So everything should line up exactly. And you're going to place them so that those seams meet together on the right side of your background square. Okay. And then on I, the right side. On the right side, mm -hmm. yeah. So you're covering it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I use clips and I just put a clip across the two seams like this. But if you want to pin them, then do pin. But I found with pinning, it moved. Yeah this held it in place cool. and you're going to do that with all of them so I'm just going to do two because I think that's how many I've so got So create left. a bit of a stack. Just to remind you by the way yeah. details are on the screen on the left hand side you've got your main graphic that's for the yellow Liberty Cathedral window cushion you've got your instructions you've got two meters of fabric in total that's half a meter of your Liberty Emily Bell half a meter of your uh, Wiltshire Shadow in lemon yep. and then you're also getting a full meter of the Liberty Wiltshire Shadow in white and that's for your frames. Okay. Now so. um, on the other side you've got instructions on their own so if you fancy using your scraps or you've got a fabric range that you've just bought that you want to use this perfect project uh, then you can. Uh, you can get the instructions on their own they are 9.99. Now then, where okay. are you at? Right, so we've pinned, you're going to clip them all. So you'll have 36 of these. And then what you're going to do is just to hold these in position, I found it easier to just do an eighth of an inch seam down two sides. Okay. If you want to do all four, that is entirely up to you. But um, I didn't have the time to do all four in my life. I only do two. <laughs> but I do do the two. I don't wing and prayer it with just the um, clips because it, you can't have the clips in place at the next stage. No, and, and it's all about accuracy, isn't it? Absolutely it is, yeah. Hang on, we've got a, I should have used a leader on this, bear with me. What is a leader for those who so may not know? So this is where your mega scraps come in, okay. so this is out of my scraps box it just means that you feed a piece ahead of the piece you're doing so that when you've come off a piece it the thread is still going oh i see so just a scrap of fabric it's just literally a scrap of fabric that's why i don't throw any away let me get rid of this spider's well that's web. just the nature of being a quilter isn't it not throwing fabric away yeah. Why would you? <laughs> yeah. Well, even if it's a scrap that you know you can't use, because it literally is a scrap, mm -hmm. don't you have a bag for the, that you then put it in for stuffing something later? A bag later? I've got a room. Oh, okay, a room. <laughs> I don't have that luxury. I have a bag. <laughs> and when that bag's full, I know I have to make another cushion. <laughs> oh, and you use them for stuffing? Yeah. What a cool idea. Yeah. Yeah, some of my cushions are liberty on the outside and liberty on the inside. <laughs> So well, that's posh stuffing. <laughs> it is very posh stuffing. Mm. Yeah. Right, sorry, I'm just rectifying the spider's web that caught, because when it catches underneath, 
you then get that accumulation of thread, don't you? Do. You? you get a bit of a knot. Right. So we're back to square one. So let's reposition these, and hopefully now we're good to go. And I can tell it's hay fever season because my eyes aren't functioning. Right. There we go. We're good. So I've okay. got that piece. The other word that I've heard it called is a donkey. Not Oh, because it does the that. work for you, I okay. suppose. Um, but it is something that is quite a... If you're doing lots of half-square triangle work, it is quite a useful tool to, to have in your stash. And it literally is just... Oh, it's caught again. How are we going to get through? No, we're not. I can tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull it out and move it on. That's the easiest way to deal with that now. We're good. Oh, we're, uh, we're away now, Susie. We are, we are, we're, we're on away it. away now, hurrah. So we can turn it around and do the other side. And that gets rid of your clips, because you really cannot have clips. If you pin it, the other word of warning with pinning is, whilst the pins, oh, it's done it again. It's having a bad day today, isn't it? Or is it just the operator? Um, <laughs> The other thing with pinning is when you get further, you'll see when we get further down the line, if you've got lots of pin in there, pins in there, the chances of you catching yeah. your fingers on the end of a pin are so high. Okay. Um, and if you're working with white fabric, you know, it suddenly becomes a polka dot fabric. It's the first rule of quilting, isn't it? Do not bleed on the fabric. Yeah. Could you use a glue stick? Could you do a very thin line of glue? So we are going to use a glue stick in a minute. Okay. Um, so yeah, by all means use a glue stick. Mm -hmm. The thing is though, remember they're folded fabrics, so if you use a glue stick, you're going to have to glue both layers, otherwise That's it's going true. to flap around in it's the brooms. It's only on the bottom, isn't it, of yeah. course. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I didn't have any of this before. Oh, it's typical, isn't it? At home, you can do something a hundred times, yeah. it all goes smooth. And Come then the here. minute you get on live television, the gremlins yeah. appear. Same machine as well. It's crazy, isn't it? So, Did you hear my Easter joke earlier on, by the way? No, I missed it because I hadn't it? tuned in. Go on. Oh, it was a good one. Well, was everyone's it? heard it already. Well, I'll do it for you. Yeah. I saw uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger at a party last week. I said, Arnold, what's your favourite Christian festival? He said, well, you has to love Easter, baby. Oh, dear. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. Did you like that? Yeah, it's, it's better than mine. Go on. No, give I don't have any. Oh, you don't have one? <laughs> oh, well, in that case, it's I definitely win. definitely better than mine. I win. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is lay this out. Now, obviously you can't see what's happened to here, but when you've got them all sewn, you're going to lay them as mountains and valleys. Okay. Because you've got your diagonals. So on this one already, I've got a mountain going on. You start with a mountain line, yeah, and then you go for a valley line. Now, if you so would you move, just move everything up a bit, up that, to there, absolutely but perfect. Tiny what I bit can more. Do, if I do that, keep going a little bit more. That's good. absolutely super. Yeah. Yes, thank you. So those two will go together like that. I see the valley now because it yep. dips down. Yeah. So it's the direction of the diagonal that we're talking it about is, here. Yes. And why isn't this working? Have I done it on the wrong side? Yes. No, I'm on the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six. That way. It's that way around. Oh, I have done it on the wrong side. One. I don't know what's going on. One. Six by six you're doing. So six, so You've got yes. Six so by I, five. I've so got it's one six more by row. five. One more round there. Yeah. Yep, that's right. I am right. Yep. Having a bit of a brainstorm here. So this should be, so this is row six, so this is a mountain row, that's why. Because what you need to have, it's because I've started halfway. Oh, I see. Yeah, so we're going to do this out of your six. Gotcha. Why have I still got more? Something's not gone right today. That's right. Oh, I made one more, that's why. You made why. an extra. I did make an extra for the demo. Okay, I'm going to wake up now. <laughs> Coffee for Ms. Duncan. <laughs> yeah. Something. Anyway, but 
what I wanted to show you is where this is a mountain, this is a valley, so you'll get that natural square appearing. Yes. Does that make sense yes, now? Yes, it does. Yeah? So you're going to arrange that, and it does show a really clear picture in here mm -hmm. of that, so you get that square going on. That's what you're looking to achieve. Um, you'll, when you do it, you're not going to have to break it down so it's so easy, uh, so it's more obvious. Then what you're going to do is um, sew them together in their pairs. Now when you sew the them rows, together, it's what seam? Just a quarter inch quarter seam. Quarter inch, okay. And all you need to watch is that those points meet together at the top and bottom, but you, if you've cut accurately, that's not going to be an issue. Mm -hmm. So it's a quarter inch seam. Now you're going through eight layers of fabric. Okay. So I increased my stitch length slightly. I've mm -hmm. gone to 2.8. Normally this runs at 2.4 for a straight stitch. Mm -hmm. So I've gone to 2.8 for this. Um, it's just to help make the stitching more even and not really tiny yeah, sure. and puckery and that's all. But you can chain piece this. So as long as you keep your row defined, then you, it works quite well. To, yes. Knowing the way my brain them. works, Susie, I might be inclined to do these one at a time and yeah. put them back because I'd start getting the hills and the valleys. Yeah, I do them row up. by row normally. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a chain piece fan, but there is a limit, isn't there? It's when it really you is. open them out, just make sure. I just keep revisiting the row before. Mm -hmm and making sure that it all forms the right shape. Yes. And then, and the other trick I use is when I pin them, put them together, I put a clip on the side that I know I've got to sh sew. So I can put a clip on that one, and then I know that this one's got to come in here. So I'd clip that one. So that's the side I'm sewing. And that's my indication of, Perfect. of sewing. So it's, it's just your own tips and tricks isn't it really it really is but if we all share them then we all learn different ones mm -hmm. that may be more effective for us so you're going to just do so there's only six rows so it's not a huge number and then all you do is sew that to the row above but before you do you want to press it now, when you're pressing, alternate rows want to press in opposite directions. So you've got a lot of fabric going on here. Mm -hmm. So is, I know John always says, oh, but you normally press open. Well, yes, I do normally press my seams open. But don't worry if you've got flappy bits. That doesn't matter because mm. that will capture in mm. the next seam. Um, you, in this occasion, it's much easier to press one seam in one direction and one seam in the other direction. Okay. So my previous seam is pressed to my left, so this seam I've got to press to my right. So I'm going to set and press the seam across. And you find if you've best pressed, which we have done, then you get a really nice crisp seam going on, mm -hmm. which really helps put this together nice in a really clear window effect yeah. at the end because that's what we're aiming for yeah nice and precise yeah we want that nice cathedral gothic well it's arch. a technique that's that's so admired isn't it and, yeah. and as I say lots of us have tried doing it by hand it's very time consuming I mean it's clever yep. and it's fun it but is. it's very time consuming and you can spend hours and hours and hours and only produce a tiny little bit of it whereas this is much faster it's all machine sewn you get that sort of quick fix and you still get the same gorgeous effect of cathedral window yeah um, it uses a lot less fabric as well. Yeah, and also too, you get the opportunity to use different fabrics because in traditional hand-sewn cathedral window, your background and your window frames are the same yes. piece of fabric yeah. that makes both. Yeah. You manage to have a two-tone effect, yeah. which you can't achieve. If you want the same effect, actually, of traditional hand-sewn uh, cathedral window you'd just use the same fabric for your background and your frames wouldn't you yes yeah absolutely yeah although yeah. if I can get extra fabric in extra pattern I do it yeah so I would never do that 
now i mean i just love the fact that it showcases the wind the picture yes using a different background really lovely yeah I really so if like you that. if you did things like machine embroidery and you'd got lots of little motifs that you wanted to highlight, then get yourself the pattern. It's available on its own, uh, details are on screen. And then you could use your machine embroideries for the pictures. Equally, if you've got maybe some sort of feature fabrics, some special fabrics, maybe you've got a collection of old embroideries, hand embroideries, or, um, old like lace handkerchiefs and things like yeah. that that you want to preserve or even clothing special pieces of clothing because you're not piecing photos. with the yeah full photos printed on printed fabric would be photos. gorgeous but you're not sort of piecing no. with the picture fabric no you're placing it and then sewing the frames over it so if you want to use things like stretch fabrics or difficult fabrics yeah. for those as well you could couldn't you absolutely you could and the other thing that you can do which i was going to mention is you can stuff underneath and oh, make nice. it slightly domed if you wanted to what size would you get a piece of wadding get yeah, a piece of wadding what size well, would you well, cut or you could use you know toy stuffing okay because you can as you lay this piece down you'll see you've got that opportunity to add something underneath if okay. you wanted to yeah you've just got to m not overstuff because you've got to be able to bring this arch uh, the, w the frame over the side okay so the reason for doing mm -hmm. the seams one way and the other gives you that nice nestle look got you yeah just make sure when you're doing that if you have got some loose points make sure you've caught them in that seam and I just clip at each seam and that's all the seam matching that's going to go on Chisling. that yellow is absolutely beautiful it is. isn't it it's I an absolute love, dose of sunshine yeah lemon is one of my favorite Wiltshire shadows so then it's a quarter inch seam all the way down and again you're going through a lot of layers a lot of layers so take it a steady. Laura, Laura layers. Laura layers. Laura layers. Laura layers. <laughs> so higher, uh, longer stitch length, and no just one here we're working with has a clue who we just did an impersonation of, Susie. Because we're working with embryos here, <laughs> <They're> children. <sighs> but we are mere children ourselves. Stuart. We are. We are. <laughs> certainly behave like but I do anyway oh, oh, I don't no. know <laughs> it is funny isn't it when you you talk about something and to you it's the, the norm and yeah the other person looks at you like you're totally what are you going on every about? day of my life Susie, <laughs> every, day. every day of my life people look at me and say what are you going on about oh well I, yeah i mean what think. can you do everyone oh, thinks Anna, I'm thank mad. you silla black it was chalk surprise surprise <laughs> <laughs> and it was the shoulders the shoulders always went up didn't they surprise surprise yeah her shoulders used to meet her ears frequently the odd expected head shoe between the eyes Love it. Right, let's get over this hurdle. You will find it is quite a noisy seam to yeah, say. Yeah, you've been through a lot of layers, but that's okay. Yeah, just take your time. Um, I will rec would recommend, I forgot to say, change your sewing machine needle before you start this. Yes. The better your sewing machine needle. And that's what's not the size? Perfect. A 90? Um, no, I, I think mine's 80. Oh, you mine. go for an 80. Yeah, okay, I think enough. mine's an 80. But not yeah. your finest needle. No, 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 no. Okay. But a fresh one. That's not the best Gonna there. Going to come over and that's, inspect. That's why covered buttons were invented. It is. Now, so we've just got a couple more minutes on this, Susie. That's Are you fine. able to just show us a yes. little bit? Yes. So what you're going to do is use a glue pen, mm -hmm. which is totally deranged, but just put a bit of glue pen on here and you know the fabric glue stick yes on the fabric glue stick i please. have mm. here hang on oh it's there well i bought is mine it? and there it is ah i there bought we go. mine there you go so fabric glue stick i just do four little squidges yep line the points with the seams okay and you'll find you've got a rough quarter inch do 
press that down. Mm -hmm. But at, this is the point at which you could stuff if you wanted to. Right, fair yeah? enough. And then all you're going to do is roll back, making sure that you've hidden that edge. And you can pin it if you want to. Okay. So just enough to cover the just raw enough, edge all yeah. the way along. You'll find it will naturally go to a point. Yep. And then at the points, you just... I use the fabric. If the fabric wants to go one way and another, then I go whichever way it wants to lie. So you but can overlap bring, them. You're bringing them into an overlap. You don't want them to pinch, right? Because that will make it too bulky. Mm -hmm. You want them to lie one over the other. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So you end up with a a, a pointy seam here, mm -hmm. and you're going to do that, and then top stitch it as close as you want to cover uh, along that arc along yep. that frame um, you can use you can use a zigzag if you wanted to you mm -hmm. can use whatever stitch you like but where you've got your gaps that's where I put my buttons yeah and your, your backing is just an envelope back mm -hmm. that's really easy to do perfect but all on the instructions it is now you, that you'll project. notice that we've got overhang you mm -hmm. do need to do these side bits yep. because of the it being a square yeah um, and then when you turn it over, you will um, trim off. You trim those edges. Yes. Cool. Now, I think we've got a question from yes. Sharon. We have a question. Hi, both. Loving the demos and the products. Uh, I'm new to quilting, and I'm just wondering what best press means. Thank you, Sharon. So best press <laughs> is not your best way of pressing. <laughs> what it is is a liquid that is all organic and natural products. Um, we're just waiting that for it is, to come back in stock. It actually. is, yeah. It's it's so well used, we can't get stock. But it all it does is stabilise your fibres. Oh, we have got some. There you go. Ah, yeah. Um, we can't sell it, but we've got some. Yeah, and yeah. it it stabilises your your the fibres and doesn't make them stiff like a starch, not as stiff as that. But it gives them a um, sort of body and realignment so that they hold pressing much better mm. and hold their shape much better and if you cut across the grain it doesn't interrupt that cut no. and fray as much perfect we'll let you know as soon as we get it back in stock so i'm just going to recap the cathedral window bundle and then we're going to get on to your gorgeous patchwork bag okay so i'll we'll let you have a redress yeah and um, i'm just going to go through the bundle so we're going to start with the yellow bundle that susie's been using this morning it's so pretty just perfect for spring summer imagine those in a bedroom or in the conservatory just a real dose of sunshine now in your bundle you're getting the full instructions from Susie Duncan you're also getting a meter of Wiltshire shadow in white you're going to use that for your background and also for your backing you're going to get half a meter of Wiltshire shadow in lemon and half a meter of Emily Bell in magnolia gorgeous selection you, we've also got a blue bundle that's right here uh, really pretty this you're getting a meter of the Wiltshire shadow in indigo yes. sapphire thank you then you're getting half a meter of Emily Bell in sapphire yeah, sorry that's Wiltshire sapphire indigo indigo so indigo sapphire and then you're getting a half a meter of liberty sally ann plus of course your instructions now we're also in offering instructions on their own so if you want the instructions on their own you can well over half the stock has gone they've been really really popular um, you can use it to make your cushion you can use it to make a quilt uh, there's great ideas in there as well for using fabric from your stash as well um, this is what the instructions look like uh, you're getting them included in your bundles of course but if you want instructions on their own you can so you've got a picture of the project you've got all of your written instructions and then you've also got all your photographs to show you all the different steps even how to make the envelope back now before we go on to the bag I'm just gonna let you know that as soon as we knew, uh, we'll tell you, a hundred of the brand new hand creams have been delivered. Let me grab one. There we go. They've been ordered. They've been ordered. They haven't been delivered yet. Delivered by helicopter. Um, <laughs> the, the delivery of these will be slightly later than if you bought the stock from this morning. 
okay. Um, they're in Karen's warehouse at the moment. They're coming to our warehouse. The ones you ordered this morning are already in our warehouse. So if you ordered this morning and, and checked out, you'll get yours slightly quicker. But you can still order the Seams hand cream. It'd be like a couple of days later. Um, 14 99 Remember, it's the brand new packaging. Exactly the same formula inside, though. That Seams hand cream that we know and love. 75 milliliter. It's my absolute go-to hand cream. It's lovely. And I, my, I put some on earlier on in my hands. My hands feel so soft and supple now. Just gorgeous. Um, I'm just going to have to grab one that's already open. There we go. Gotcha. Uh, this is the tube. Nice and sort of non-gendered. So if you're buying this for a man or a woman, makes no difference. The fragrance is gorgeous. It's not floral. It is spa-like. It's that lovely spa scent. Um, oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Made in the UK. Recycled packaging. Uh, um, reused plastics in the tube as well. Uh, all made in the UK. Everything's made in the UK. If you've bought Seams hand cream previously in the past and loved it, rest assured it's exactly the same product inside the tube. What's changed is the colour of the packaging because Karen fancied to change. I love that, Susie. Oh, she just fancied to change. Yeah. These are your ingredients. It's all about nourishing, restoring balance, moisturising, softening and conditioning protecting all those things we want i loved karen's story about uh, you know just telling the formulator yes i want it all all of that now price wise 14.99 we didn't mention this while karen was on air but um we are actually sort of underpriced <laughs> okay it was slightly embarrassing on her website 16.99 oops um on our website 14.99 Oh, well, um, but we love it. We love it. If you missed out this morning, we've managed to get 100 more. It's a very limited number and a quarter of that new stock has already gone. Um, so do do uh, check out your baskets nice and quickly for that. Talking about checking out your baskets, the patchwork bag instructions on their own have now sold out. Oh. So well done if you got those. We do have bundles. It's an absolutely gorgeous bag. Absolutely love that. Now we've got two different bundles. We've got a blue and a pink. We'll look at the blue first of all. So only way you can get your instructions now is in the bundle. And I think this is such a beautifully put together bundle. Why not? Why wouldn't you? You're getting your instructions for the bag. Remember it comes with an optional uh, letterbox zip pocket inside and also a magnetic catch if you want. If you don't want it, you don't have to use it. And then you're also getting half a metre of Osnaberg and you're also getting a fat quarter of Wiltshire Shadow. This colour is called Storm. Stormy? Storm. And then you're also, see I do listen, and then you're also getting an Alice Caroline pack, two and a half inch squares, you get 36 of those. Now there are more of these in baskets than we have stock. So please, please, please check out your baskets quickly, otherwise you will miss out, all right? Um, lovely message from Teresa. Morning, a bit late this morning, trying to catch up on some sleep. We don't, we, we, we endorse that, we endorse that. Love that cushion, love Susie's demos, and you always make me smile, Stuart. Was it surprise, surprise? <laughs> Next bundle, we're moving on. It hasn't gone down well. Um, is the pink bundle. So you're getting full instructions, you're getting your half metre of Osnaberg, which I think gives it a lovely kind of casual country summery feel. But I'll just say, if you're a multimedia person, yep. like I am, yep. then you can actually stamp on that really effectively Ooh. or do some embroidery on it if you wanted to nice. zhuzh it up a bit 
even more. But yeah, it's a versatile fabric, it is. isn't it? I love it, yeah. You're also getting a fat quarter of the Emily Bell from Liberty. This is in um, like a dusky rose, isn't Powder it? Powder rose, in Powder fact. rose, thank you. <laughs> I wasn't listening that hard, was I? And then you're getting 36 two and a half inch charms from Alice Caroline. This is Liberty Lawn in these beautiful soft pastels. So, I mean, both absolutely beautiful combinations of fabric to make that gorgeous bag. So those are our two bundles that we have. Remember, the pattern on its own has now sold out. So the only way you can get the pattern for Susie Duncan's gorgeous patchwork bag um, is in the bundle. Now, before we go to Susie, Search for a Sewing Star mm. is going to be announced in the 10 o'clock hour. Please make sure you tune in. We're going to run over slightly in Susie's hour so we can see all the demos that um, she's got. But as soon as we come back after that break, I will be announcing the search for a sewing star winner live on air. Okay, right. It's very exciting. It is exciting. <laughs> I think we're going to so make someone's exciting. day. We are. I hope so. Yeah. Now then, patchwork bag. Patchwork bag. So I wanted to do a little bag that as we've said holds a lot and you can do a lot with um, and being able to marry Tarn Lawn with the quilting Wiltshire Shadows and then the Osnaberg was just fab. In your instructions it has cutting measurements. Follow that carefully <laughs> Okay. Um, because you will use all of your fabric. I mean this is all I have left okay very little left you do get a few of these left so if you want to do some decorative buttons you've got four pieces left to do oh, okay, that with cool but if you're doing a magnetic clasp you will use a couple of them so f to do that mm -hmm. um, so yeah be careful how you cut and I've piece coded everything as well so I'm a, a label person I just stick a label on mine as I go so I know what I'm doing then you're going to put them together in fours. You want four sets of four. So that will use 16 of your squares. Mm -hmm. And you can be as organized or as random as you like with that. With these, they're just so pretty and you, you get multi of each design. So you can mix and match and do whatever you want. Got you. So once you've got them as your, set, your four patch, you want to press all your seams open at this stage. Um, bear in mind that Tarnalorn is a lot thinner than quilting cotton, so don't have your iron as hot as you would for quilting cotton, because mm -hmm. it doesn't need it. You're then going to place them diagon on the point, as they call it, and you've cut your Wiltshire shadow into triangles, so best press that if you've got some. Um, and you're going to fill in the gaps to make it a band, basically. So I've already done one half, so we're going to do the second half the mm -hmm. same. So you do it as two halves, and then it's easier to sew together the two halves together. Okay. So when you're sewing these, you're going to just take one side down across right sides together, and you're going to stitch a quarter of an inch down. But stop and start a quarter of an inch from the end. Oh, okay. because that way it enables a, a neater, flatter crossover when you're sewing Great the next tip. one. Okay, and that is in the instructions, you haven't got to remember that. Mm -hmm. um, normal stitch length for this because it is uh, just two pieces of cotton fabric, so we're good with that. And you will need to press as you go if you want the best effect. I've mm -hmm. tried it without, just for speed, Yeah, it's not worth it. No not worth it and press towards your your Wiltshire shadow mm -hmm. or your outer fabric if you're not using the I love that storm color it's kind of chambray uh, yeah. denim it's, blue it is, isn't it it's one of my favorites mm. I've got a lot of favorites haven't I <laughs> but it's a great neutral against the bright liberty yeah I love um, I just think it goes that particular blue shade mm. just goes with a lot of other colours really yeah. nicely. It's really lovely. <clears throat> so sew a piece, set it and press yeah. it back before you try before adding Before you do piece. the next bit, yeah. I know it seems a bit of a task but it's so worth it 
and then your last piece goes on. So it's not a horrible amount of sewing to do. Well, we sew because we like sewing, don't we? Do. we? And yeah. it, it is a quick project to do as mm -hmm. well. So if you're going somewhere tomorrow, you can make it today. Oh, it's okay. not like you have to plan weeks in advance. So this is definitely a Susie life bag. Because <laughs> well, I love a bag because it's a quick fix, isn't it? Absolutely. It's not a massive amount of fabric. It doesn't take forever. And um, you know, it kind of scratches that itch. Do you yeah. love a bag? Oh, I've got so many bags. I almost made a sewing machine bag yesterday because oh. I was going to bring my own sewing machine. I thought, oh, but I need a bag for it because my <laughs> other sewing machine is in the other bag. Yeah, I think you had more than enough prep to do for do these think? shows. Do you think? Yeah, I that's think so. exactly what I said to myself. I think so, yeah. Do you yeah. know, have I done that wrong? I think you might have turned them on the wrong side too. I have. No, I haven't. <laughs> no, you haven't. I haven't. I haven't. It's right. It I'm good. Right. I'm good. Yeah, what do we I know? I haven't been deranged. No, I'm kidding. Not on this show. <laughs> um, so then this one just folds straight over. So you want to make sure that these seams match. Okay. Just so where the two four patches come together. Just where the four together. patches come together. It's ideal. <clears> Otherwise, <throat> it, it doesn't matter if it isn't. It's not the end of the world, is it? Um, no. Well, I think it's... No one's going to lose sleep over it, apart from you. So... Yeah, it's worth taking time over if it's something it's that... It's one seam to match. That's it's right. Not, you know, it's not... That's right. It's not onerous. Now, exactly. that bundle that Susie's using is about to sell out. We do still have the pink version, which is awfully pretty and has those lovely soft pastel um, Liberty lawns in there. It also has that gorgeous, gorgeous rose. Powder rose powder rose why can't i remember that little message by the way from lynn good morning Stuart and all. oh sorry from claire good morning Stuart and all. late to the parade sorry don't be sorry we're just glad to have your company now lynn message to say good morning Stuart. lovely to see you this morning hope john isn't too poorly now john john yeah i spoke to john yesterday and he said he wasn't feeling poorly at all not ill just had no voice just had no voice and felt like he needed to rest his voice for a few days um we do a lot of talking here. Yeah, and with the aircon as well. Yeah, yeah. But thank you, Lynn. We'll pass on your thoughts to him. He's probably watching. Morning, John. Well, if he's got any sense, he'll be asleep. Yeah. Have a rest. Rest John. that voice. Get that now honey then. and lemon drunk. <laughs> I've got the pink bundle out in front of me. It's really gorgeous. Um, so there's that lovely powder rose. Will uh, Emily Bell? absolute favorite fabric that liberty have brought out for a while this one i love it it's so versatile half a meter of osnaberg fat quarter of the emily bell in powder rose and then you're also getting from alice caroline your 36 two and a half inch charms and you've got all these lovely soft pastel shades in there so it's going to make a really pretty feminine bag Good. And remember, within your bundle, you've got enough fabric for all of the outside of the bag, your handles, your piecing, your sides, the lot, then inside the bag as well, your lining, your pocket, everything you need, as long as you cut nice and carefully. So don't whack off no. two and a half inches up the side to get Ooh, the salvage off. Yeah. You know you do that sometimes. I do that sometimes. Yeah. I always regret it, do Susie. You? See, I don't if I'm cut over -generous. my salvage until I absolutely have to. Right. And very often I'll include part of the salvage you? because you can, you know, if you're doing a quarter inch seam, yeah. you can get an eighth of an inch of selvage in there, to save your fabric. Yeah. So um, once you've got that panel, you want to just trim it down. And okay. the measurements in there are five and a half by 12 inches. But if you go by your um, panel itself that yep. you've made, basically you want to cut it off where the joins are yep so you take just leave them like a quarter of an inch yeah so i'm seam beyond that, going yeah. a quarter of an inch beyond and i'm taking off any dog ears because you don't want those in the mix mm -hmm. as well and these bits look they're big enough to do other things with. they certainly are <laughs> such a skin flip not mine now the ruler that Susie's using yeah. is twenty three ninety nine. It's from Creative Grids. Really useful sizes. Isn't it, it is six and a half by twelve and a half. Well, it's perfect for this because you can use the twelve inch line to to 
um, cut it the right size as mm -hmm. well. And you've got, yeah, it's it's just handy size. This one and then the longest one that's six and a half are my absolute go-tos. Mm. Use them all the time. So then you're going to attach. Now you're going to repeat that for the other side mm -hmm. of the outer. And you're going to attach a strip top and bottom mm -hmm. So this, this is your Osnaberg. This is the Osnaberg. Okay, so we're going to quickly do that. When you do the front and the back of a bag, do you yeah. tend to make them matching? Do you make them the same or different? Well, on this, you normally I like everything absolutely organised and pristine mm -hmm. and matching. Yep. But on this one, I decided I'd go off piste and I literally threw the la Tarna lawn okay. pieces at the desk. Yeah. And where they landed, I just grabbed four. You just grabbed four. Yeah. And how was that? How did that go down? Well, it, after a couple of cups of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you have to lie down in a darkened room <laughs> afterwards. Lots of deep breaths. <laughs> but this is it. And I it? couldn't, and I wouldn't allow myself to fiddle. Ooh. It was like, you've got to just go with it. And really? I was just like, you promised Ooh. you didn't fiddle? I didn't. Okay, I did And it was just like, whoa, this is just so alien to but me. But a lot of us struggle with random, random, don't we? Yeah, and I'm trying to get out of that. I want to be able to random comfortably, not have to think about being random. Does that make sense? I know what you mean, but the colours are coordinated. Yeah. They're all Liberty prints. Yeah. So there's your consistency. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you know. And they, everything works. I mean, we've often said that when you, you go into a, a beautiful garden any time of year mm. where there's flowers, you've got a mix match of flowers in a flower bed that you would never think to put together yeah. normally as colours because they'd clash. Yeah. But it works in a garden. So why really do well we have the these rules with our art and design pieces? Yeah that say they have to be this side of the spectrum and this point. We don't need to. It's true, Go isn't it? Go with the flow. If you like it, use it. Hey, listen to you, you free spirit. <laughs> You'll just be doing completely random quilts next. Now, I've got to you tell you... my work room. <laughs> all of the instructions, all of the bundles have now sold out for the bag. So well done if you manage to get yeah, those. Yeah, enjoy. Uh, we've just got a couple more minutes on demo. And right. then, after the break, I'll be announcing the winner of the Sewing Search for a Star. Right, so you're going to do... I'll be doing in a style of Scylla Black. Are you? Surprise, Are you going to dress like surprise. her as well? <laughs> I've got a touch of red in my hair. <laughs> So funny. Um, you will need to add some H640 or wadding or whatever you choose to do. It depends how stiff you want your bag. I've used H640 here, but if you want it stiffer, then use Bosal. But you want to cut it a little bit smaller than your piece. Okay, cool. Oh, you have it a little bit smaller. Leave I, your seam I do. Allowance Leave your seam edge. allowance. Yeah. Cool. Why waste? Over time. Fair I'll enough. Give you another handle. True enough. So here's one we made earlier. You can do some quilting on it if you want to. All I've done is just done a tramline seam to mirror it. Mm -hmm. You're going to do the same with the base piece. And this I do quilt. I crosshash quilt it um, just to give stability, really. Mm. Um, so that's that bit done. And then you're going, you'll put those together. Um, and I've got one that I, uh, the sides, let me do the sides with yeah. you first. So the sides are, here we go. You're going to put five of your pieces together, and then you're actually going to. That's too much. Okay, a bit too but long. Four is not enough. Mm -hmm. So go for five, find the middle, and you can either measure it and trim it, or I find the middle of my side pieces of my Osnaberg. Oh, great, yeah. And match the two together like this and just stitch down there. Do the same for this side, stitch down there, and then you'll trim off, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. So that you'll get a side that looks like this. Again, if you want to do some quilting, do that. And then what you'll um, do is put that outer together. Now, when mm -hmm. you put it together, you're going to find, uh, you want to mark with a um, heat erasable pen, so friction pen, in a colour that you're going to see mm -hmm. your quarter inches. 
on your corners. And I've just, just got noticed. a minute, okay. um, Susie. All right. So the reason you want to mark it is because you must stop and start at those points. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, it doesn't work. Because you're going to put the base underneath. Here's, should we go to the one we made earlier? Yeah. I, in fact, I can show you on the lining. You put the base with the sides and then you bring in the side panels. Got you. Your lining is made in exactly the same way except that the top bit is your pieced squares. It's lovely. And your sides and your bottom are your Wiltshire shadow. Perfect. And you will, don't forget to leave a turning gap. Don't forget to leave the turning gap. I know, don't be that one person that leaves, that doesn't leave the gap. Do you know Susie. anyone that does that? Oh, <laughs> no, never ever. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, for sorry, that. a bit rushed. We've really that? worked you out there. Two projects uh, in one hour. We've Two got a quilt kit coming out with you, you in an hour, haven't we? We have, yeah. So I look forward to seeing that. That's the post room Post quilt. room quilt. Of we'll also have some more of your patterns as well in that yes. hour. So make sure you tune yes. in at 11 o'clock. We're going to take a little break now. Then when we come back, I'll be announcing the winner of this year's Search for a Sewing Star. Will it be you? Tune in. Find out. See you after the break. Will it be me? Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. 
Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Well, I'm just doing a little bit of ironing. I don't know about you. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to Sewing Street. We're having a busy old morning. And in this hour, it's all about tools. But before I can do any of that, I have a super, super important job to do. And that is to announce the winner of our Search for a Sewing Star competition. Now, everyone had the opportunity to vote for their favorite sewing star. We loved everyone and I know you did too um, I saw so many lovely comments about every single person who came on air we had a wonderful uh, group of sewers very talented bunch and absolutely wonderful on camera and off camera the decision was too difficult for anybody here to make we asked you to make the decision and you have so drum roll please I can announce that our sewing superstar for 2022 is Emily Roberts! Ray! Emily, you are you are our brand new sewing star. Congratulations to you. She'll be being called as we speak. Being told officially as well, but here we are. I'm telling everybody now. Emily Roberts, you have won our Search for a Sewing Star 2022. Congratulations! Absolutely wonderful. Thank you to everybody who entered our competition. Everybody who sent in videos and resumes. Everybody that came to the studio too. We thought you were all wonderful. And also thank you so much to you at home who commented on Facebook on our fans page who took the time to vote as well thank you for that thank you for making the competition so important and thank you for that support as well our community is everything to us here at Sewing Street so Emily welcome to the team <laughs> we can't wait to have you back on air we'll see you very very soon I'm sure Okay, so this hour, all about tools and essential tools. We also have a book, and we're going to start with that book, aren't we? I'm going to grab it. Where is the book? <laughs> the book isn't there. The book, it is the little, um, the block tool book, please. That's the one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> right, let me grab it. So, I love block patchwork. You know the kind of thing where you make the block and you make 20 of them and you sew them together. 
this is an amazing tool it's the ladies art company um, quick and easy block tool you've got in this book 110 quilt blocks in five sizes so 550 options in one book for $14.99. It's also packed with hints, tips and tricks with simple cutting charts and a helpful reference table. Uh, now let me just show you, it's just a fab book. It's spiral bound, which you know instantly tells you this is a workbook, this is a resource book. It's one you're going to be constantly dipping in and out of and going to when you want some fresh inspiration. Now the way the book is organised is first of all it shows you how to use the block charts. Now for each of the blocks in the book you get a blank block, a line drawing. So useful because you can photocopy that, enlarge it, colour it in, create colouring sheets to help you design. Then you get a grayscale block. This is important because it's going to show you how value affects how your block works and how it looks. Value is about the relative lightness or darkness of a fabric compared with what it's next to. So for example, to think of it really simply, white, grey, black, a kind of light, medium and dark tones. In reality, often the fabrics we use are patterned, multicoloured, and the easiest way to see their value, how light or dark they are in relation to others, is to lay them out, take a photograph and then reduce that to grayscale. So you're just looking at gray tones and then instantly you'll be able to see which is light, which is dark, which is medium and that will help enormously. Then the next diagram we've got is the piecing diagram. So this t it tells you the order that you're gonna sew the uh, pieces together. And then finally, you've got what the finished block should look like. Underneath that you've got um, a sort of an explanation of the cutting charts for each block. So the label for the piece, so you've got A, A, R just simply means reversed, you might have a reversed shape, uh, B, C, however many pieces there are in your block. What to cut, how many you need, so this may mean for example here D, you're cutting three squares but you're going to then cut them across the diagonal and you'll need five triangles so one of those triangles will be spare. That's important to think of if you're making ten blocks, you know, you think about those spares. Then your dimensions, your cutting dimensions, whether you're making five inch, seven and a half inch, ten, twelve and a half or fifteen inch finished blocks. So those are your dimensions. Next up in the book you've got an index. You've got all 110 blocks. So many of you now coming in for the value is incredible isn't it? Let's be honest the value is absolutely incredible. Four grid, five grid, six grid, seven grid, eight grid. This is a really a designer's book isn't it? All these different blocks that you can create in five different sizes. <clears throat> you know those days when you want to make something, you want to make a little table runner or a quilt or something like that. <clears throat> you don't want to go to a pattern, you don't want to go to one of your books, you want to create this from scratch. Um, this is a great resource to help you do that, absolutely wonderful. Um, I mean it's just a great resource, it's a great resource. And then we get into um, how the blocks are pre-cut friendly. So for example, these blocks here can all be cut using charm squares. These blocks here, good for fat quarters. These are jelly roll suitable, these are layer cake suitable. So it's just giving you an idea and you could also apply that to your scraps. If you've got larger scraps, if you've got thin strips, gives you an idea where you might get your fabrics from. And then we get into the sort of proper meat and veg of the book, which is page by page, each block explained. You've got your line drawing, grayscale, piecing and finished block. You've got your um, patches that you require. So for the Big Dipper, love that, for your Big Dipper you literally need 
A, B and C, they're actually all squares, they're all the same size and then you've got measurements for a 4 inch, 6 inch, 8 inch, 10 inch or 12 inch block. So not all of the blocks go up to a 15, it depends on the grid that's been used. This is a, a 4 grid, okay, um, but you've got all of that. And then underneath, for every single block, you've also got a how would a quilt look made using this block. I mean, it's only one block, and of course, you could do all sorts of different things with every block, but it's nice to have an idea of how one block might look, or one quilt. Now, uh, a quarter of the stock has already gone. You're loving this book. I think every quilter needs this, every single quilter, um, because there are so many lovely ideas here. What about this one, The Blind Man's Fancy? A um, little bit more complex there, a few more patches. And then some design options. What about making a table topper? We've even got the yardage and the cutting instructions to make a table topper. What about doing this square or, well, it's all, almost, um, it's, is it octagonal? One, two, three, four. Yep, yeah, octagonal table topper. Love that idea. That's cool. Really fab. You can see how these things work when they're all put together. Love this. Look at that little cake stand quilt. A third of the stock now has gone. Great colour ideas in this book as well. You know, this is quite Amish looking, using those solids, just using quite a restricted colour palette, quite vintage looking. This is using kind of lovely bright pastels. I could imagine that looking great in Kaif as well. Um, just terrific. Lots of traditional blocks. Love the names as well. Cox's Camp, Crazy Anne, Crow's Foot, Cross and Crown, <laughs> Cut Glass Dish, The Diamond Star, and a real range of, you know, some easier blocks, some more complex blocks. What's lovely, The Diamond Star, here you can see Patch D, you're going to cut eight rectangles, but what we need are eight diamonds. Now I want to just explain this and I'll show you how we're going to cut these. Um, so we can refer to what there's a little crib sheet right at the back that tells us look here um, how to easy cut 45 degree angles and easy cut diamonds okay and for easy cut diamonds which this these are um, actually these are angles um, so that's just using this. So let me show you how, you how you do that. Let me grab a bit of fabric. Got my rotary cutter. Okay, so let's say I was going to make the 10 inch diamond star block. And first things first, I'm going to need uh, eight rectangles and they are one and three quarters by five inches. So I'm just gonna fold my fabric. So one and three quarter by five. Let's grab a ruler. Okay, so we'll start by cutting a little strip. Graphics for the ruler are on screen now. This is the six and a half inch by 24 and a half inch ruler. So one and three quarters. Now remember when you're rotary cutting, you want the mark of the measurement you're cutting on the fabric, not on the mat or on the space between. So actually there. Now I'm using here a so simple rotary cutter. I'm using the small size. This is a 28 mil. I'm using this when it was to hand, it'll do the job for me perfectly well. It's also really, really good if you're cutting curves. Now then, just having to go up on my tiptoes. So now my... <laughs> I'll try moving my board to the left, Director Bruce, but I'm on my tiptoes. <laughs> Yeah, I think all the guests are taller than me, maybe. Right, so one and three quarter by five inches. One, two, three, four, five, there we go. Um, and I'll leave that one to one side. Right, so I've got my rectangles, and what I need to do now is create diamonds out of these. So it's a really easy job. What you're gonna do 
is find the 45 degree line on your ruler. So that's my 45 degree line. I'm going to line that along the top edge of my rectangle. And I want the cutting edge to be right on the corner. Okay. And cut. Okay. So I've removed that little triangle. I want the other corner to be angled in exactly the same way, to go in the same direction. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to line the ruler up. The 45 degree line is lined up with the top edge of my fabric. And I'm just kind of looking to make sure that that angle is going to go in the same direction, which it is. And now I've got my easily cut diamonds. Now, <clears throat> obviously this is a solid fabric, so I can just flip it over. But if you were doing right side, wrong side, you know, and you, you um, had a patterned fabric and you wanted pairs like this, then you would need to make that angle cut in the opposite direction for half of your patches. Okay. But all explained in the book. Nice and easy. Nice and easy to do. Just a fantastic resource. You're loving it. I'm loving it. It's the kind of thing that you could just dip into. And don't forget as well that if you find a block that, say, like, for example, the Diamond Star comes in a 10-inch version. Now, if I go further on in the book, block number 57 is called Mosaic number 5. Now, that also comes in a 10-inch version. So I'm already thinking... OK, so 10 inch of this, 10 inch of this, I could make those two blocks. I could put them together in a two block quilt. So now my 110 quilt blocks, well, it's 550 really, because there's five different sizes for each. So my 550 quilts now becomes a gazillion, because if I start marrying two different blocks together, I've got a whole nother load of quilts. If I add in a third block, mosaic number two is also available in 10 inch. I've got even more. It just goes on. It's just endless. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. The nonsense block. The nonsense block. <laughs> Mrs. Morgan's choice. I wonder if there was a Mrs. Morgan. And if so, who was she? What did she do? What did she do? Mother's fancy. Well, as most of you saw who follow me on, on uh, Facebook and Instagram, Mother's fancy a couple of days ago was a glass of red wine before lunch, which we both partook of. Oh, <laughs> that's what Mother and I fancied. So many great resources in this book. Lincoln's Platform, the Linton Block, the Ladies' Wreath. Lady of the Lake is one of my absolute favourite blocks. Um, it is just gorgeous, classic, always looks amazing. Well done, everybody who has got this book already. Well over half of them have now gone. We'll let you know as the show goes on. We're having a lot of sellouts. Oh, Storm at Sea. Now, I get asked all the time for instructions for Storm at Sea. There they are. Now, let's be honest. If, you, if I was to do a set of instructions for a Storm at Sea quilt for Sewing Street, it would be $9.99. The blocks would be available in one size and there'd be a quilt. There may be a cushion that goes with. Your book is $14.99. Storm at Sea is one design out of 110. It's available in five different sizes, just that one block. All easy rotary cutting. No hard cutting at all there. No hard cutting at all. Now that's got the easy diamonds. Have I got a moment just to show you how to do the easy diamonds? Let me show you how to do the easy diamonds. So that is patch E. Let me just check patch E. Right, so that's going to be, well, I'm going to do the largest, which is three and a half by seven and an eighth. So three and a half by seven and an eighth. So let's just cut one out. Uh, keep missing it. Three and a half by seven. Right, so I'm going to cut a three and a half inch strip, first of all. This is how I cut when I'm at home in my studio. <laughs> there you go. It's like being in my studio with me. So there's our three and a half. 
Let's square up one end, and then I want seven and one eighth. Um, seven and an eighth. So seven and an eighth, to find the eighth, it's just one increment on your ruler, one little increment. Okay, and then the instructions in the back of the book tell me to fold my patch in half really accurately and create some little creases. Okay, so I've got a little crease top and bottom and then I'm going to do exactly the same thing along the length. So fold it in half, create a little crease, match up the corner again, make a little crease. So I've got four creases at my four um, mid points and then what I'm going to do is line the ruler up now already I'm looking thinking I can't really see those marks so I'm just going to darken them with a pencil if you do that within your quarter of an inch seam allowance then you're never going to see these marks again so it doesn't matter all right and then all you do line up those marks and trim all the way round. Be aware, once you've made that cut, we've now got bias edges around the outside. So it might be an idea if you're doing this block at home to pre-treat your fabric using best press or spray starch. You can also use spray starch for that. And there's my easy diamond, all cut out. This is that sort of essential part of a storm at sea block, which helps once it's pieced together to create the illusion of curves. Quick, easy, five sizes. It's one block out of 110 for 14.99. There are less than 20 books available now. So if you're going to get your copy as your resource book that you're gonna be using forever. <laughs> frankly, forever. Um, now's your chance. Really good. Love that. Now, the rotary cutter that I was using, rather in love with using a small size, great for scrap cutting as well. Does the job brilliantly. Um, we've got that in today's show. It's the 28 mil. Now, this is absolutely perfect. I'm just going to mention very quickly something else which is on the show, which is this. It's the um, double wedding ring templates. Now the only reason why I'm mentioning this quickly now and it's slightly out of order is that if you're going to rotary cut curves using curved templates you need a 28 mil cutter. Don't try cutting round curved templates using a 45 mil or a 60 mil. Um, terrible. You just use your small. You need your 28 mil. Anyway, 28 mil. It, uh, <coughs> sorry, yeah, absolutely. We'll have a look at the um, the templates in more detail in a second. But just to finish off the so simple, it's the 28 mil rotary cutter, 8.99, amazing price, absolutely amazing price. Remember, unless you lose these handles, there's really not a lot that can happen to them. So probably you'll only ever buy one, 8.99. The blades, it's a standard 28 millimeter blade. Um, very easy to replace. We've got spare ones on the website if you if you want to get some while you're at it. But absolutely brilliant. Um, perfect as you saw me doing for doing your rotary cutting. Um, but also absolutely superb if you're cutting around curves or curved templates. It's essential. $8.99 for that. So simple is a great brand. Now then. The double wedding ring. I'll just grab all the template pieces. This is from Creative Grids. And um, I'll just show you this. Is a little picture. A little picture. Um, the double wedding ring, a uh, four piece template set, is created by Judy Nehmeyer, who you may well know, she's absolutely world renowned quilter, is designed to work with her double wedding ring patterns or use these 17 and a quarter inch templates to cut the segments needed to create a double wedding ring quilt. Mark the fabric through the holes in the template to mark the centre of the curved sides for making piecing a breeze. That's for, you know, matching up your pieces. 
um, all of the curves can be cut. Ah, now they're saying can be cut with a 45 mil or a 60 mil rotary cutter. I would still personally recommend the 28 mil. It's much easier, much easier with a small uh, cutter. The template set comes with full illustrated step-by-step -step instructions, or you can scan the QR code, which is on the packaging, um, for uh, a video demonstration. <coughs> Excuse me. Now those images are um, different sort of ways that the Creative Grids ruler can be used. You can see there that some of them have smaller pieces in the arc. Some you can do a, a single piece arc, so not pieced arc, you can do that as well. <clears throat> it's definitely a more challenging quilt. It's one of those quilts which is on a lot of quilters bucket lists. What puts most quilters off is the cutting of the pieces. Now if you're making your own templates I would agree. If you're using laser cut templates it's much much easier. You've also, the other thing that would alarm a lot of people yeah, is the curve piecing. Now what the templates here have got which makes this so much easier is that all the match points, so centres and at the points here at the tips and then also on the corresponding pieces that fit in there are little holes sort of cut through the templates. What you'll do is use something like a friction pen or a chalk pencil to mark those dots on your fabric as you cut them out mark those dots and then that gives you reference points so that when you're piecing say the um, arc to this section here you know exactly where to line up the center exactly where to line up the ends pin those three points first and then pin in between and then sew your seam curved piecing is all about accurate cutting accurate matching and pins and that's it really then it's just sewing normal seams. You can do it. $38.99 for that template set. A lovely message for me. Oh, thank you. Stuart, could I just say a big thank you for going through the book and explaining it so thoroughly? Oh, you're welcome. It's given me confidence to get it. Thanks, Alicia, who's in Staffordshire. Alicia, you're welcome. It's what I'm here for. If, you, if there are ever, like in future, if there's anything that you want a closer look at or you want, you know, what's on the back or email in, we're always really happy to do that. But thank you for that message. That's really kind. Now, I used, did I put it back? Probably not. What did I, what did I do? I think it's that one, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. It is that one. I thought it was. Right. Okay, so we've got the ruler next. This is six and a half inches by 24 and a half inches. Uh, brilliant size. The standard quilters ruler is six by 24. This has that extra half inch on both the width and the length. I f now I wouldn't buy a standard ruler. Um, I'd always have that extra half inch. It's so useful. It makes cutting out so much quicker. Um, you've got all your markings on here. You saw me earlier on using the 45 degree line and that's marked in a couple of places. You've also got markings down at the end. You've got another 45. You've got a 60 degree line there as well. Um, then you've also on the ruler got dots, kind of grippy dots on the back and also around the outside. <coughs> now these, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, just had a frog in my throat. These really help to grip the fabric while you're cutting. So we've all done it where we're cutting and just as we get to the end, the ruler slips and we end up miscutting a strip. With these um, rough dots on the back of the ruler and the edging, it's gonna grip the fabric much, much better. If I just show you on a piece of fabric, we don't have other rulers uh, in the studio, so I can't show you how it would slip and slide without. 
but what I can show you is that those grippy dots really do help to stabilize the fabric. They're not sticky, they're just kind of roughened so that when you cut, do you see, no movement at all, no movement at all. And then when you're cutting the other side, just flip your board around. Here I'm cutting a perfect two and a half inch strip. So again, make sure your measuring line is just on your fabric and then trim. And again, absolutely no movement in the ruler. With, a non, with, with the non-non-slip, you know, the standard rulers, what I tend to have to do is cut and then move my hand before I cut the last bit. But with those grippy dots, you really don't need to do that. And you get a lovely, perfect two and a half inch strip or whatever size strip you want to cut. Absolutely worth the extra money for a Creative Grids ruler. It really is because you're getting all sorts of extras in there. You're getting the non-stick grippy dots on the back. You're getting the extra half inch marking. You're getting the grip all the way around the outside edge as well. And also the markings in black. For me, so much easier to read those markings. I find it very, very difficult to read the yellow markings that you do get on some rulers. So um, some great reasons to upgrade your ruler perhaps if you're managing at the moment with a standard one. The biggest draw for me on this is time. I'm time poor in my craft, I'm sure you are too. None of us have as much time as we'd like. The cutting out is something I want to get through, I'll be honest, as quickly as I can. Anything that can make that a little bit faster and earn me back some time to do things I want to do is worth paying for. The fact that I can cut a strip and I don't have to move my hand up means that when I'm cutting lots of strips, I can do it more quickly. Lots of squares, I can go more speedily. So definitely worth the extra money. It's 28 99 It's six and a half inches by 24 and a half inches. Nice message across the bottom there. Love all my Creative Grids rulers. Uh, updating them one ruler at a time. Thanks, Stuart. That's from April. Thank you, April. Now, Susie was using the small, the smallest ruler. Now then, just tell me what it looks like. It's not out on the counter. Six and a half by twelve and a half. Yeah, not. Is it underneath? Oh, it was hiding. Sorry, it was hiding. It's there all the time. <clears throat> I think I can say with confidence, I look like a man looks. It's one quick glance. If I don't see it, it's not there. It's not there. It's not in the cupboard. It's not in the drawer. If it's not right on the top when I open the drawer, it's not there. Okay, this is the ruler Susie was using earlier on. This is my other go-to ruler. Now this is the one I'm much more inclined to use if I'm doing something like bag making or scrap quilting. And for the, the reason for that is when I'm scrap quilting or using fat quarters say, I have not got the size of fabric to be cutting full selvage to selvage strips. I'm cutting smaller pieces of fabric this is perfect. If you were doing lots of, for example, the Easy Diamonds, this would be so much quicker to use because a smaller ruler is quicker to reposition, of course. So the job's gonna be done a lot faster. Great also for trimming. So for example, lots of us make our half square triangles slightly bigger than we need, and then we trim them back. Um, this rule is ideal for that. If you're going to trim back, um, let me just show you. I'm just going to mock up, just going to mock up. Um, I'm just going to mock up a quick uh, half square triangle. So I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to piece one. I'm just going to sort of draw it and then show you how you would trim it. Okay, so okay, so here's my 
here's my half square triangle, okay? Half dark, half light, and I've pieced it, and I've pieced it slightly bigger than I need to because I'm gonna trim it back for accuracy. So what you want to do when you come to trim it back is you've got it, it's much easier with a smaller ruler. So if I want to trim this down to one and a half inches, now at the moment it's a two inch square. So what I want to do first of all is I want to make sure that the diagonal line, the 45 degree line, is running through the centre piecing line. Okay? So line that up very, very carefully with the centre piecing line. Now, in this instance, I'm only going to have to trim off two sides, but let's just say, for example, that my piecing was a little bit all over the place and I'm going to have to trim from all four sides. So what I'm going to do there is trim two sides first of all. So I've got that side nice and accurate. Then I'm going to turn my unit around. I'm going to reline up the diagonal first of all and then I'm going to make sure that the side lines are at one and a half inches. Now this technique that I'm using can also be used with square rulers of course. Um, we have different sizes of square ruler but that's a really good use for your smaller ruler for trimming down as well as for cutting pieces. That ruler is about to sell out so well done if you managed to get hold of that. Such a useful ruler. Now then, let's have a little look at square rulers. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm always saying <laughs> on Erin in classes too, once you've got your basic rulers, and I would say they are your six and a half by 12 and a half, six and a half by 24 and a half. They sort of standard size. Once you've got those, if you're in the mood for an extra ruler, a square ruler is absolutely the way, the place to go. We've got a few different sizes of creative grid square rulers. They're all very useful. This one is a six and a half inch square. It's 14.99. Now, this is a perfect ruler for a wide variety of uses. Let me tell you the kind of things you might use it for. So to start with, it's great for scrap quilting. Whether you're cutting, you know, flying geese, half square triangles, small strips for strip piecing. You know, if you've got little scraps, but they're in big enough to sew into strips and then cut down, use these for cutting the strips and for trimming. Um, so all round scrap quilting, six and a half inch square, Brill. It's also really good if you like to work at a slightly smaller scale in your blocks as well. So if you're using or planning to make quilts that have six and a half inch blocks or smaller, these are really useful. Why? Well, cutting the patches, also trimming or squaring up if you need to any of your blocks. Also, if you're cutting background squares for either applique or for piecing. So say for example you've got a six and a half inch star block and you're going to alternate that with six and a half inch square background blocks. Um, this is a much easier, much quicker way of cutting very, very accurately those pieces. If you're making a quilt that has a gazillion uh, half square triangles in it and you want to quickly and easily cut and trim your half square triangles, again a square ruler absolutely designed for that, set up for that. Really useful, really useful blocks. Now we've also got the eight and a half inch square. So same principle, just slightly bigger. I suppose if I had to make a choice between the two, I'd go eight and a half inch because you can go smaller, but you can't go bigger. Um, that would be useful. Eight and a half inch square. Oh, sorry, we have got a 12 and a half as well. Sorry, right, we're not doing the eight and a half now. Sorry, beg your pardon. Okay. So, it, ah, the eight and a half sold out. So if you really pressed me, would I go 12 and a half, six and a half? I would go 12 and a half. Again, because you can go smaller, you can cut everything from 12 and a half inch down, 
but you can't go bigger. So 12 and a half inch is great. Lots of blocks, most blocks that we use in patchwork are up to about a 12 inch finish, aren't they? Uh, so this is useful. It's got all of your little grippy dots on it as well. It's got the half inch extra as well, which is perfect if you're cutting background blocks or sizing up, trimming down blocks. This is also a really, really useful size for when you've finished quilting a quilt and you want to square it and trim it. So when we layer a quilt, we've got our top and then we've got batting and backing which are bigger on all sides. Once we've quilted, we need to trim everything to the same size. Now you could just lay a straight ruler along the side of your quilt and trim. But to get it properly square and true, you need to be thinking about this measurement and this measurement. Obviously with a normal ruler, you've got about six, six and a half inches across the top. But if you've got the 12 and a half inch square, what you can do is place that in the corner of your quilt. You can trim the corner in its entirety. You'll get a much, much squarer, truer finish using a large square. And don't forget as well that if you need to just pull and tweak and hutch that quilt to get it right, you can. If you need to block your quilt before you trim it, you can. So if quilting's really distorted your quilt, give it a spritz with some water, pin it out to the right size, let it dry and then trim it back. You can even do that to some extent with steam. Steam and then tweak it into shape. Let it dry, let it cool and then trim it using your 12 and a half inch ruler. Okay, those are all the squares. Now we've got a ruler rack. So if you've made a little collection now of rulers, you'll need a way of storing them. This is the Millwood ruler rack. It's solid wood. It's a really uh, beautiful uh, quality piece. I'm just gonna open it and show you. So yeah, lovely solid wood. It's got little feet on the base, so it's not gonna mark your tabletop. And then basically you can store your rulers. Now it depends on the size and shape, and they might be acrylic templates as well that you've got. You can store them on their sides like this. Okay. Or if they're smaller ones, you can also store them on their ends. So depending on the where you've got the the rack positioned on your desk or in your sewing room. It's a great way of keeping your rulers safe and looking after them. Um, there, you've got to do any, everything you can, I think, to minimize any kind of like chips or wearing on the corners. So a rack is a really good idea. Now, template plastic is up next. Now I did a quilt a few weeks ago, it was a Jason Yenta quilt and it had some fussy cutting in it and it had some templates. Now um, for that you needed template plastic. This is perfect, this is what I used. This is the So Easy template plastic and it's the graph version. It's the graph version. So what this is helpful because if you're if you want to make sure it's really accurate, square and true, you can use the grid lines. You can also cut out other templates, of course, if you wanted to do flower applique or circles, you could cut them out of this. You can die cut through the template plastic as well. If you've got a die cutting machine, if you've got the um, Crafters Companion Gemini, you can cut templates out of plastic using that as well. It's a multimedia die cutting system. It's really easy to cut using something like scissors, rotary cutter or something like an exacto knife as well or a craft knife. Um, if you're going to use the template plastic for fussy cutting a, um, a motif, what you want to do then is to cut out your template first of all. So say for example it might be a hexagon for English paper piecing and you want to center a particular flower on it okay so once you've cut out your hexagon template lay that over your flower onto your fabric and then get something like a fine tipped sharpie pen this will create permanent pen marks um, if you want them to be removable 
use a removable pen, but I tend to use a fine Sharpie. And then with that template over your motif, trace some of the pattern, not all of it by any means, but if maybe a bit of the outline of the flower, if there's a little sprig, you know, just, just mark the center line, the stem as well. Um, maybe if there was like a little ribbon, just draw around a little bit of the ribbon. So you've got three or four salient features uh, marked onto your plastic. Cut out that first template and then move your template plastic over onto the next motif. Now, rather than guessing, oh, that flower's roughly in the middle or wherever you want it to be, line up your marks, cut round. It'll be perfect every single time. Template plastic is so useful. It's also really useful if you want to mark a regular quilting design onto your quilts for maybe hand or machine quilting. So maybe you want to quilt a heart motif onto your quilt at regular intervals. So cut the shape out of template plastic and then you can quickly and easily lay that on top, draw around it using a friction pen and then quilt. Also if you're doing things like appliques and you're doing fusible web and you need 75 leaf bees, yes you can put bond web over the top of your pattern and trace 75 leaves. But tracing is slow. Drawing around a template is faster, much faster. So make one template, pop it down on your, on your Bonder web on the paper side and draw around it much faster. $3.99. Best $3.99 you'll spend. Remember, everybody that shops today and every time you shop with us today, you're going to get entered into the prize draw for our Shop and Save. The more times you shop, the more entries you'll get into that prize draw. Uh, the prizes, remember, we've got things like mode of fabric bundles, we've got a quilt kit, <coughs> all sorts to win. Winners will be notified, I think, on Tuesday. Fab! Now then, our beautiful, beautiful Seams hand cream. I'm just going to grab my open one. Now, Karen was here this morning. I thought originally I was going to meet somebody from the company, you know, one of their representatives. But Karen is Seams. She invented Seams. She had the initial idea. It was lovely talking to her earlier on about the reasons why she thought a hand cream for makers was important. And she was telling me all about doing a millinery course and about, you know, how it was taking it out of her hands, crafting was taking it out of her hands, kind of damaging them, drying them. And she needed a hand cream that would nourish, moisturize, protect and heal, but also that she could put on and then get straight back to her crafting. That sounds so familiar to me. When I'm knitting, when I'm sewing, when I'm making, when I'm gardening, when I come in from gardening and I wash my hands, my goodness, is there anything more drying on hands than soil? That really dries your hands out. Seams hand cream, specially designed with us sewers, quilters, makers in mind. Now the packaging has changed. It is this really smart indigo, but the product inside has not changed at all. The formulation is the one that we know and love. Ugh. It's that smell, it's just great. It, whether you're men, man, woman, it is non-gendered. It is non-gendered, it just, Smells gorgeous, luxurious, spa-like. It leaves your hands feeling lovely and moisturised, lovely and refreshed, without feeling greasy, without feeling tacky or sticky. You can literally get straight back to work and it's not going to leave a residue uh, on your yarn, on your fabric, on your work surface either. Just gorgeous. Don't forget when you're putting that uh, moisturising cream into your hands, don't forget things like your nails, your cuticles. Now our stock, our big stock actually, our big stock that we had in for the launch this morning, sold out within the hour. We have managed to get 100 hand creams back in stock. However, we are down to the last 20 of those. Lovely message, all back in stock 
Yay. Just added two to my order this morning, Carolyn in the West Midlands. Well done, Carolyn. Remember, a um, couple of days later than the stock that was bought this morning. So if you bought yourself a seams this morning and then thought, actually, they've got it back in stock, I'm going to buy a couple more, they will come a few days later. Um, but just gorgeous. And remember, unopened 24 months um, shelf life opened 12 month shelf life so if you're buying these thinking about this christmas or next christmas no problem no problem they've got 24 months uh, uh, shelf life and then 12 months once they're opened just beautiful uh, all made in the uk the packaging is recycled the plastics in the tube are recycled just a wonderful, wonderful product and a wonderful story. Now we're going to take a little break. When we come back, we're going to have Susie Dunn come back with the post room quilt. This is a doozy. You're going to love it. I'll see you in just a couple of minutes. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. 
Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hi everybody, welcome back to Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hillard. It's wonderful to have your company today and uh, we're having so much fun. It's the start of the Easter weekend. It's Good Friday today. I hope you're having a wonderful day and you've got great plans for the rest of it. Stay with us for now. We're here live till one o'clock. Remember, if you buy anything today, you go straight into our prize draw, shop to win. You could be winning a Moda quilt kit, you could be winning Moda pre-cut fabrics, and every time you shop, every time you check out, you get another entry into that prize draw. So stay with us. Now, in today's hour, this hour, we've got wonderful Susie Duncan back, and we've got a fantastic quilt kit from Moda. It's called the Post Room Quilt. It is really beautiful. It's 155 centimetres by 180 centimetres. I'll tell you what that is in inches very shortly. Um, and it has got a wonderful, wonderful red, white and blue sort of theme to it, uh, which is absolutely perfect, isn't it? Thinking ahead to the Jubilee celebrations in June. Um, well, in fact, for the whole year. Now, you're getting all of the fabrics you need. There's 28 different fabrics in this kit. They're all from, Moda. yeah, the it's designers. Prim it's Primitive Gatherings. Primitive Gatherings, who I love. Now, Primitive Gatherings, I'll be honest, normally it's quite sort of dark, mm. antique country colours. But this is gorgeous. I mean, still got that sort of slightly antique look, but reds blues navy blues and sort of tans and creams now you're getting your full instructions now this quilt looks hard susie easiest one i've ever made in my life there you go so beginner friendly absolutely beginner friendly beginner friendly yeah, very beginner friendly and it's a gorgeous kind of graphic quite modern looking quilt actually yeah it is but very... made with traditional fabrics yes yeah which i love that yeah it gives it that sort of Oh, I know, I did oh, that. Oh my You see, goodness. you've wrecked your tissue. Mine's yeah, still pristine. I know, I know. Did you open yours on live television? I did a, I did a Facebook go. thing. <laughs> um, look, look. It is like having a birthday. Oh again, my isn't goodness it? me. Happy birthday, Mum. So lush, isn't it? 
Happy birthday, Mum. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to grab all of these fabrics out and show you what you're getting. Oh, that makes me really happy. So I don't care about the tissue paper now, Susie, frankly. Yeah, it's all about the fabric. Can we use this? <gasps> you know what I like? Look. I love this. Oh my goodness. The, the deep red is just The divine. deep red is just divine, isn't it? Um, now, I think the in America, is this sold as the independence quilt? Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, this is just so perfect. There's nothing on there. There's, there's, well, there is. There's one. There's, a, there's, there's a one, one with the American flag on. With the American flag. But, I mean, because it's in one colour, red yeah. or blue, it doesn't sort of scream that. Well, also, I'm gonna, you're not going to see I am going to open it. it up, but still, I just want to appreciate the gorgeousness of all those lovely fabrics. Well, you know, I mean, pretty much every year I make a 4th of July quilt anyway. Do you? Mm, I do. Um, <clears throat> and but I've made a few. Yeah, I don't think it matters because you're cutting it into two and a half inch strips. Of course and then you are. cutting that. So by the time you've gone down to two inches, yeah. you're not seeing it. No, it's just beautiful. I'd buy this kit just for the fabric. Yeah. Let me show you. I'm going to go through these fabrics. They're glorious just lovely and you've got these wonderful kind of deep cranberry reds you've got lovely sort of soft creamy tan that says old glory from a distance that um, oh that's like um sprinkles yeah that's what i was going to say that looks like the yeah the donut, doesn't it? love those little stars it's as well confetti. is it yeah gorgeous yeah. love those little stars um, you get so many different fabrics, 28 different fabrics in total. Yep. Um, oh, love that. This is the first pile. <laughs> Could you put me down for one of these, please? I really want, I want to make the whole quilt. It's absolutely glorious. So that's half the fabric. Well, it's not even half the fabrics. There's more. Absolutely delicious. And... Um, all in cranberry reds and tans and blues. <clears throat> now I've got some, um, I've got patterns in actually a few of my books, which are yes. Union Jack yeah. or uh, half a Union Jack. I've also got ones which are like sort of stars and stripes. I've got a quilt called Old Glory. So if you wanted to use these fabrics for a different quilt, of course you could. Yeah. Wow. And we get some leftovers too. Look, that's why I've brought mine in to show you just how much you get left over. Amazing. And then you've also got <coughs> now this fabric, this is a mode of grunge, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is for the yeah. sides of your quilt. That's lovely, yeah, isn't that's it? Yeah, that's your border Look pieces. At that. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And then this fabric, which is the red, white, and blue stripey, is your binding. It is. You even get your binding. Um, and I love a stripey binding. There's a stripy binding on it, I'm there. Exactly. Yeah, just gorgeous. So those are all the fabrics that you get. Now in total, that is uh, nine. over nine meters yeah. of fabric. There's an awful lot of value in there. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just gonna have to sort of layer this back up now, beautiful. <laughs> and tie oh, the bow the right way. And of course you get all of your instructions as well. Yes. Easy instructions? Yes very great. straightforward it, that's the great thing about the quilt it's not an onerous quilt to put together no beginner um, friendly beginner friendly but also it's one that if you are short of time yeah yes the quilting stage always takes your time but actually putting the quilt top together is not as onerous as it looks well, you could screen. get it long armed couldn't you you could send you, it away if, if you knew somebody that could do it for you send it away <laughs> Now, price-wise, $159.99. You know what? We feel like we're in a celebratory mood here. It's, it's, we're coming up to Jubilee. It's Good Friday. I can already smell the chocolate that's coming on Sunday. You hope? Let's take £10 off. £149. No, not today. Come on. We can do better. £20 off. Yes, please. That sounds good to me.
139.99 now remember you're getting 28 different fabrics there which are all absolutely beautiful well done if you've already checked out you'll pay that final price you'll be paying 139.99 there is a split pay if you'd like it three payments of 46.66 for this massive stack of fabric very manageable if you're a brand new sewer or quilter um, great instructions the finished quilt is absolutely gorgeous really stunning quilt but completely beginner friendly strips sent that was Stri always gonna happen <laughs> oh dear I'm sorry. look I stacked all those fabrics and then I picked me. it up and I've dropped them I'll manage that I'll manage that oh can I just take this one home then no can I just take it home though can I just okay i'm going to pop that there for now oh well done if you've already checked yeah. out fantastic you've already saved yourself 20 pound and you've got this fabulous quilt kit to come home now there are many many of these in baskets however 25 percent of the kits have already gone a quarter of the stock has already gone okay now we've talked about the quilt top you've got your binding included but we need some fabric to back the quilt with now you know the one thing i hate doing and i do hate doing it in quilting is piecing a backing so i try and avoid it if i can extra wide fabric is the way to go we've got three options we've got three options now this oh these aren't extra wide oh oh i'd have to piece these yeah you would oh well but you could do uh, that doesn't matter oh i'm prepared to piece you could put a bit of this stripe down, down the, middle. the middle how awesome would that be got you we do have extra wide fabrics in the next hour but these ones aren't extra wide okay right this one is absolutely delicious mm. this is a deep cherry red mottled fabric i'm going to hold it up so you can see that is really absolutely delicious it's almost like it looks almost like velvet doesn't it yeah it does actually really it beautiful textural 100 percent quilt weight cotton you're getting three and a half meters you're saving one pound fifty on that maybe you're making bunting jubilee bunting jubilee gift bags very nice 26 pounds 43 pence now that's your red option <coughs> we've got a blue backing bundle again this is standard width cotton so you'll need to join um widthwise on this quilt one join vertical join i'm just working the maths uh yes yeah. should be yeah yeah so just one seam it's down the middle. Five wide. So. Oh, I can manage yeah. that. I can manage yeah. that. You're getting again three and a half meters of this gorgeous bright blue, a kind of cobalty blue, um, absolutely beautiful. This is a solid. This one, okay, for twenty five pound and three pence. There we go. I'm back to my lovely new shirt and then last of all we've got natural seeded Osnaberg super super popular as a bundle anyway um, a great sort of craft fabric this is 18 pounds and three pence three and a half meters again super value that that's very good in fact the saving on the quilt kit would pay for that and you'd have was. change in your pocket hey I love it you did the maths no, I'm Wonderful. a savvy shopper. <laughs> yeah, you're not kidding. Well, that's great. Yeah, you've saved uh, twenty pounds on your quilt kit. That's eighteen pound and three pence. Yeah, one pound ninety-seven. Could almost buy an Easter egg for that. Oh, you could buy a few. Yeah, well, it depends where you shop. The little one. I don't eat them, so I wouldn't buy them I'm anyway. I'm going to indulge myself on Sunday. Oh, yeah. I'm saving myself till Sunday. Yeah, I'm desperate for a hot. What and then eat about four million and one? Yeah, it's just going to be like I'm just going to. I'm, I'll be at the farm, so I'll just get a trough and just <laughs> fill it. <laughs> now this quilt kit is absolutely magnificent. Special treat to you. It's got. 
£20 taken off. It should be £159.99, but we've dropped the price by £20. You're getting it for £139.99. Now, you're getting 28 different fabrics. They're all from Primitive Gatherings, who are one of my favourite Moda designers. They do gorgeous kind of a little bit antique looking colours and designs. You've got these wonderful cranberry reds and sort of almost like tea dyed creams mm. and little motifs, stars. That's a gorgeous yeah, I love fabric. That one. Yeah, I'd use that in so many different ways. They're all one, lovely. They are, they're gorgeous. Just to say the text one, the text yep. goes both ways. Oh, it's multi-directional, yeah. so it doesn't matter Great. which way up you use it. So lovely. So you might be planning to make the post room quilt. You're getting full instructions. You're getting all the fabric you need and more. Uh, you might be thinking, actually, you know what, Stuart? For one hundred and thirty-nine ninety-nine, that's all the fabrics I need to make my jubilee quilt. I'm going to make a Union Jack quilt. I'm going to make paper pieced Union Jack uh, flags. I'm going to sew them all together into a quilt. Okay, great. This would do an absolute brilliant job for that quilt. Or you might be making bunting, you might be making gift bags. What a beautiful collection. Now half the stock of that quilt kit has now gone. Well done if you checked out your basket. You've got your beautiful quilt kit coming to you. You've made your £20 saving. You're also in our draw, shop and say, shop and win. Shop and win. <laughs> shop to win. Anybody who shops today, ev literally every time you check out, you get entered again. Multiple entries into that prize draw. It's motor fabric, design rolls, pre-cuts, there's a quilt kit. We'll let you know on Tuesday if you've won. Fantastic. Okay, Susie. Yes. You've changed. You've changed. Oh, I've, I've aged. You're, stop <laughs> it. Stop it. You're in your red. You look glorious. Well, I thought I'd better colour coordinate. Time with that thine. <laughs> Love it. And also, look, we coordinate We kind of do, don't we? Yeah. Oh, I never, I'm not quite as exotic. You're being kind. I never coordinate <laughs> with anything. Now, post room quilt. Uh, amazing quilt. Really good. Um, I'm not going to lie. It takes some cutting okay. there's, there's quite a bit of cutting to do but it's just strips but it's all strips and and um, you can do it in clusters um, which I'll explain as we go along there are a lot of fabrics as, as Stuart's just shown us <coughs> so my big so I think this is a great one especially for people like me who love organization and love everything ordered because get what you want is a load of little bits of paper and I labelled everything yeah. to keep myself going because you're going to do how it's constructed is four rows an odd row and an even row and then another odd row and another even row but within each row there are 26 columns Okay. so it's quite a lot of it's like going back to doing a graph but when you talk about columns they're just that's 20 how many did you say 26 20, 26 strips yeah 26 strips okay. made up of pieces of fabric gotcha okay so that it's getting everything organized that mm -hmm. takes the time mm -hmm. sewing it i've just sewn a whole row in less than half an hour Amazing. in the green room mm -hmm. so it's not a long sew mm -hmm. job it's a it's the organization yeah but it's worth the time to do that. Well, so I if, love sorting, stroking and organising fabric. Don't so we that's all? not a problem don't we for all? me. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I will, re I will say, do spend the time familiarising yourself with the different fabrics. And what I did was, as I had finished doing my oohs and ahs, I got them out. And if you read the instructions with a cup of tea or whatever you like to do, um, so you know what you're doing ahead of schedule. Don't mm -hmm. just dive in because there may be something that you'll think, oh, actually, I want to do it this way rather than okay. that way. Mm -hmm. So what I did, having read it, was thought, okay, so when I'm cutting, the, the fabrics are cutting groups. So I'm going to put my fabrics in those groups straight away. Mm -hmm and then I'll do all that cutting because then you're only cutting the same increments 
so you not keep having to refer to your pattern and getting it wrong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I cut the two inch strip, two and a half inch strips off the fabric, like it said, for everything. And Could you use your stripology for that? I did use my stripology. You did. I, I did you use my stripology. Mm. In fact, I use my stripology for pretty much all of it. Cool. Because you can. Um, it is really easy to do with that. But if you haven't got the stripology, any of the quilting rulers are good for this. Your longest measurement is um, nine and a half inches apart from your fabric C, which is the mode of grunge, because yep. that's, your border. that's your border. But I haven't cut, I'm not going to worry about the border until I get there, because you don't use it anywhere else. Okay. So you can leave that fabric and the binding fabric you don't use anywhere else either. But everything else I subcut. And then as I subcut it, after I'd finished subcutting everything, I'd left it in the piles of A, B, C, D, etc. And then you refer to the diagrams mm -hmm. or the or the the chart as it were um, and this is you have an odd chart and an even chart here on the second page and what I did is write myself labels that said odd chart 1 to 26 so OC 1 to 26 mm -hmm. And then I had EC1 to 26. And then I organised the pieces for the two rows, so two lots for each one, in that order that it said. So they were all piled up. So I ended up with this, basically. <laughs> this is my chart. So okay. this is the even number one, right the way through to numbers 25 and 26, which I've yet to say because I want to do that with you now. Okay, great. But that's how I organise myself. Um, and it meant that when I came to sew, everything was oriented in the right way because that makes a difference. Otherwise you won't get that swirl. Mm -hmm. And it also saved time when you're piecing it together. Sure. But just to quickly show you just how much you get left which means you can do your bunting, yes. you can do cushions, mm -hmm. you can do any projects you like. So this is what I have left oh, wow. of all those designer fabrics. Gorgeous. So I've got enough. Do you want them? Yeah. <laughs> there are less than 20 bundles left now. I'm going to be doing all my bunting no, in it. Okay, fair enough. And my cushions. Okay, so. okay. Sorry, Stuart. I'll get my own kit, it's okay. That's all right. So once you've subcut um, it is very clear what we're doing so this is the even one mm -hmm. so let's turn to that page and it's like doing a if anyone's done a bargello quilt it's same as bargello in that you get that wave mm -hmm. but we've broken it down to make it even easier because bargello is quite onerous when you look at it isn't it you think i'm never going to do that it looks very complicated yeah. but this is made almost in blocks isn't it it is and because you're you've done it on a smaller scale it's a lot easier to handle as well because the right. bargellos i've done unless they've been cushions they've been so big mm -hmm. that i've ended up in a right pickle so let's do um rows uh, columns 25 and 26 the even ones together mm -hmm. So I've done one already, but we'll ignore that one. So you're going to take, if we look on the instructions, you need three and a half of fabric N, which is this navy with a white star. You need, the middle one is always a nine and a half inch. Okay. And then you need <coughs> the um, six and a half, the other end. So basically, when you've sewn it together, it's going to become 18 and a half inches long. Okay, right. Yeah? So if it doesn't do that, you know you've gone wrong somewhere. I understand. So it's right sides together. I mean, it's the usual and just sew across. So it's quite an easy one to do. Mm -hmm. Do you need your donkey? You don't for this. Cause <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. I knew. Ew. I just knew. Ew. Just knew. Surprise, surprise. Um, <laughs> you have to learn a new one for the next I know hour. I know, uh, she only did one song. <laughs> um, one thing I will say, you do need to be accurate with your okay. quarter inch. Yeah. It does matter. So if you have why. If, I mean, I know it always matters. It always matters, but specifically for this, because you are creating an optical illusion with the fabric, you need the strips to be the same width. 
You yeah. need your <laughs> seams to be the same. Otherwise, it, it'll it'll still have an effect, but it'll look like a wonky yeah. swirl rather than a yeah. neat swirl. And also as well, I think, because you've got most of your seams are vertical. Yes. You've got only a couple that go yes. horizontally. Most of them are vertical. If you're going to create something which is square from lots of vertical strips, the strips have got to, otherwise you end up with a rectangle, yeah. don't you? Yeah, and they don't, or a squiggle. Uh, yeah. yeah, and it just, they won't line up. It doesn't up, so line up well. Accurate quarter of an inch. Ac accurate quarter of an inch. So if your machine hasn't got a quarter of an inch foot, my top tip is put a piece of washi tape across your sewing machine beyond your foot plate yep. so that you know where your quarter inch and you can okay. line that up. But they're only two and a half inch strips you're sewing to start with. Mm -hmm. So you can see, you know, when you're going off piece sure. as it were. Um, we're only doing two layers of cotton. So I've got normal stitch length and I'm using 100% um, cotton thread to go with it. So that's the top piece in. So I'm going to turn it around and do the bottom piece. While you're sewing that, can I yes. just ask you about when, you you're, when you're choosing thread for piecing, Yes. what do you go with um, in uh, terms of colour? Well, so when I'm just piecing, it's not going to be seen. I use um, white generally. Do you? Almost or for cream. everything. Yeah. Even if you're using that really dark fabric. If it's dark fabrics, then I'll use a, a black or a very dark charcoal. Okay. Um, but if, if I'm top stitching, Generally, I try and do one that is not going to stand out from the crowd, sure, okay. unless I'm doing a feature decorative yeah. stitch and I need it to stand out. Yep. But uh, yeah, I'm a, a wallflower rather than in, in your face with oh, my top that. stitch. That. <laughs> so that's that piece strip put together. So let's do the same with 26, uh -huh. EC26. There it is, even. Column. Column 26. 26. Thank you, good, yes. Because you've got odd got and it. evens. Yep. Yep. So 26 is four and a half of V, which is old glory, the old glory X, and the other half of your V. So the instructions actually, you end up making exactly the quilt that's on the cover. Exactly. For every fabric in every in the same position. Exactly the same position. Gotcha. You can match, you can mix and match the fabrics if of the same colour if you wanted yep. to um, so you know cream for cream blue for blue etc but what you can't do is well if you mix up the colours you're not going to get the same no, wave no but you could you could change the position of the Absolutely. blues or the reds yeah. perfect yeah just be aware at home if you've got the cook kit in your basket we're getting very limited now. Lots of you checked out, just a few of you now with that in your baskets, um, but last few available. Now, backing bundles, just to let you know, um, also very, very limited. The Osnaberg is very, very limited. Mm. Single figures of that. So if you want to go for the Osnaberg, now this is useful, not just for backing the quilt, but you could also use this for things like, well, you were making your bag earlier on. Yes, absolutely. Using Osnaberg. Yep. You can use it for things like backgrounds yep. for, and or I, lining. Yeah, for lining. I use it for um, doing embroidery work onto as nice. well, cross stitch. Yep. I also love it for um, doing multi, uh, mixed media things. Mm. Where You're I saying you can stamp on it? Yeah, so I work. stamp with VersaCraft ink, mm -hmm. which is uh, made, uh, made for fabrics if you heat set it. And then I can embroider or I can colorize with cool. fabric paints. Or Would you, you pre-wash it if you were going to use it for a backing? Um, if I'm not colorizing it, yes. Yeah. Um, I, it depends. If you're it depends what you're doing with it. You've got to allow for shrinkage, yeah. haven't you? So yeah. if you're going to make it into something you're going to wear, like a J Janet Clare's apron, for example, yeah. if you're going to use it for that, which would be awesome. Yes, it would. I would always pre-wash. Pre-wash. Always okay, pre-wash. Yeah. So seams open. Yes, yeah, seams. I d it doesn't say. But there's very say. little to match, isn't there? There's no, it's, very little oh, to it's match. brilliant for that. It's a bit of a dream. Yeah, it is. There's a couple of rows that you, you match one seam. Um, but I will say that um, it doesn't say which way to press this seam. Okay. But I thought, right, I'm going to do it open because they're going to go next to each other. Mm. So once you've done all your strips, and I do put the labels back on normally, mm -hmm. but I'm going to move those out of the way. So they're all my ones for 
Thank you very much. I can see that's just gone in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> so I did, I've done the, should we hold this up between yeah, us? Yeah, sure. So this is, let's, have I got it the right way up? Yes. So these are the 26 no, columns. These are the 26. That looks this is the odd row. How beautiful does that look? And this is oh. before it's pressed. We haven't pressed oh, yet. Oh my goodness. So this yeah, is the only it's seam really match stunning. I had to do <gasps> here and here. So two seams. Two seams. It's, it was an easy one to do. It's gorgeous, that isn't is it? That is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I love the fabrics in piles, but when you see it like that, and yeah. especially looking at the TV monitor as well at home, you're getting this too. That is stunning. It's really lovely, isn't it? That is stunning. We the do? gallery have gone wild. Have they? The gallery have oh, gone that's wild. Good. So and this is a complete so row. So this is that was the complete oh, row. Oh right. This, this is, our is partial. one we're just going to finish now. Okay. So this is halfway through the evens. We're not we even halfway. We've end? got two ends, to, two to go on your end. Got you. Let okay. me hang on to this over here. Yeah. Do you want me to pin them quickly so you can yeah, see? Yeah. Do you want together? to? Do you want to pin them on? Well, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, definitely. Or I can stitch them on quickly. Now, our producer Hannah has just very, very sneakily said, "Can I have this quilt when it's finished, please? Would you like me to tell her?" You can. <laughs> no. This is my Jubilee picnic quilt. Well, I think we've already established this is absolutely beginner friendly. Yeah. There you go, and Hannah. There you go. Welcome Hannah, to the world of you're quilting. A <laughs> you're now a beginner quilter. So literally, match top and bottom yeah, and match pin top in between. And, well, and then you can pin if you want, but I didn't pin most of mine. Oh, really? Oh, no. How rude am I? <laughs> um, the only ones I pinned were the ones where I had to seam match. Fair so enough. this row here. Yep. Um, and then this row here. Yep. That was all I did the pinning for, but you, you can if you want to. Mm -hmm. And I love how, how. yes please, yeah, yeah you sew. So. If I sew this one and then yeah. we'll have this second row complete then. That would be fantastic. So, but you repeat the odd and the even row. So So you just go odd, even, odd, or, even. Yeah, and then okay. you put those rows together. Really, like you say, say the organising the fabrics, the cutting the fabrics is yeah. what's going to take a little bit of time at the start. Yeah. But for that effect... I mean, that is absolutely worth oh, spending some time organising strips. Absolutely. And I think if you organise yourself as you cut and do, you could do it in a day. Wow. With yeah. all your, from start to finish, from opening the box, because opening the box will take you half an hour because yes, you'll just stand there and go, <gasps> a lot. <laughs> and then all the cutting. Yeah. Actually sewing it, if you've organised yourself, is yeah. quite quick. Yeah, But well, you fair see, enough. we've just done one. So that's one whole seam away. done. So now I can do the next one. Mm -hmm. If I get it the right way up, let's make sure we get it the right way up, though, Suze. It's that way around, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. What you want to, the way it's you like know... It's like a little stagger, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you get a one and a half inch gap each time. And gotcha. if you don't... You've got it round You've the wrong way. You've got it round the wrong way. Perfect. It's easy enough, isn't it? Yeah. But again, I use my clips as my markers as to the end that was the top. Mm -hmm. So as I was bun uh, bundling them in their rows, I made sure that the top end was clipped. Mm -hmm. Nice, easy sewing. Lovely finished quilt. Now, I was going to see if we can check the size of the quilt in inches. Yeah, it's 155. Mm, thank you. It's 155 by 180. 80. So, so we're just going to check the size on that. 60. But wonderful eight. to be able to like hang outside your house to Jubilee. Yeah. Or sit on at the park. Yeah, picnic. Works afterwards too, doesn't it? I mean, it's red, white, yeah. and blue, but it doesn't scream Jubilee no, or it Independence Day. No. Or what I like about it, thinking, I mean, I am definitely going to use ours as a picnic blanket, mm. whether it be for Jubilee weekend or whatever. But the reason I like it is because it stands out from the crowd. Yes. So um, 
everyone can see it from afar, especially if you've got little... When, I had, when my children were little, we always used to station ourselves with something bright. Yes. So that they knew where to come back to. Perfect. This would be great for that. But also, if you spill anything on it during yeah, a picnic, yeah, yeah. it doesn't show up. No, it wouldn't show. Now, size-wise in inches, just to reinforce, inch-wise it is 60... Ah, 60 inches by 70 inches. That's Perfect. a big quilt. So that's yeah. a lap quilt. So yeah. if you don't want it as a picnic blanket, you can have it as a lap quilt. Yeah, single bed topper, good yeah. on a sofa. Over your, um, even on a double bed, it would yeah. work to cover the other your feet. Way. Yeah. Yes, it would. Perfect. And that was it. You've added the last two yeah. rows. It's so as that's your end. That's that. 26. I'm on one. So that's the row two. Absolutely gorgeous. If we grab that one as well, we could yep. hold the two together. Yep. I know I haven't stitched them. Is it blue end? Do you want the red end, do you? No, no blue I want end. the blue end. Is it the short blue end? Um, yeah, so those two go together. So if I... So it goes... You imagine that's a quarter inch seam. Yeah. And then we... Ooh, oh, sorry, Stuart. Yes. It's like folding a double bed sheet. I wouldn't attempt it? this personally, but <laughs> I'm happy to go along with you. Well, let's try it. I just thought we'd give the like illusion that. then. There you yeah. go. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. It really is stunning. It is good, isn't it? Really stunning. And that's half of it, isn't it? Yeah, so that's Great. half. So if well, you Hannah would like it by the end of the day. Thanks. Oh, okay, Hannah, Thank yeah. You. Well, I'm, I'm almost there, so you're fine. You are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't know where. And then this evening, you know, she can just sit outside and have a barbecue, perhaps, and then just yeah, like have right. that. And do you want bunting for that as well? Yes, please. Oh, okay. Yes, please. Um, when you're putting the, the rows together, so you'll construct your rows. So yeah. we've, I've just got one more left to do now. And then when you iron, press these, press all of your even rows one way and all your odd rows the opposite way, like we did with the um cathedral window uh, yep. earlier it just means that when you come to put them together mm -hmm. if i quickly show you so that's the top isn't it it'll mean that the seams will nestle so if one seam goes one way one's the other your seams will nestle yep. perfectly and you won't get that bulk there perfect um, <coughs> and that's easy isn't it, it is. just Odd rows one way, even rows the other, yeah. everything's going to nest. And I don't know about you, but I'd pin at every intersection. Oh, absolutely. You've only got to sew, it's three seams, yeah. isn't it, yeah. to sew four rows together. And when I pin, I, do you use your pressing mat? Because I do. I push through the seam on both no. sides. I, literally, because they're nesting, I would just get them you nested together and then, and then pin, pin through. Pin into it. Yeah. 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 Not vertically, but still yeah. through. Yeah. I pin. But it would be worth putting all those pins oh, in. Oh, absolutely. And it you've only got three seams to exactly. sew. It's not onerous. Stick your favourite songs on. Yeah. I've been, I've been catching it. up with a bit of my, you know, catch up television list. Oh, have you? Yeah. While I was Excellent. doing this. Um, the borders, yep. dead easy. Again, you're cutting them into strips and then you're joining those strips together to make your sides to and make your top the right and length. bottom. Um, that's out of the grungy fabric yep. and then your binding is your usual two and a half inch strip mm -hmm. folded in half and you, if you either attach to the front fold over and hand sew or stitch to the back or mm -hmm. reverse whichever you prefer once you've done your quilting that is. Fab. Now I've got to tell you at home there are literally left. <gasps> that's it and then they're all gone. Well done if you've got I feel like Ted Rogers. <laughs> Get it the right way around. <laughs> yeah, the gallery's just gone, I don't know who that is. He was a Dusty friend of Bean. Scylla Black's Do they not gallery. He was a friend of Scylla Dusty Black's. Don't, don't even bother. You were wasting our time. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> now. I, admit I was only about this big. Again, sorry. <laughs> I was only about this yeah, big. Yeah, I was only little as well. Now, Susie. Yes. Is that everything you wanted to show us on yes. this quilt? Yes, yeah, because, I mean, that's how easy it is. I love it. I, I know. love it. It's good. Okay. We've got some extra wide backings. I think it was me whining earlier on about not liking <laughs> piecing the backings, but some of these will See, work. I'm really surprised. Some of these will work. Well, 
about you not wanting to be... Do you know what I love to do? Go on. Is make, I love making my quilts reversible. Okay. So I'll always have yeah. extra of the... If I've ma if it's a block quilt, then I'll make extra blocks. Yeah, that would be to fun. Put on the back. I wouldn't mind and that. And this, I would use the, some of my fabrics for yeah. the backs as well as you do no, my I'd other do projects. That. I, all, right, all right, all right. I'll piece the bags. <laughs> right. Now then, are you all right? Just moving yeah, that move over me slightly up. for yeah, me. Move me. Thank on. you so I'll much. I'll fold it up Thank out the you. way. How far over do you want me to go? <clears throat> well, I'm just going to come to overhead. Yes, <laughs> we can almost swap if you don't. There you go. Um, so what I've got here is some extra wide backings. Now, personally, I think four out of the five would work really well. There's a black. I personally, I wouldn't use the black, okay? But there's a tan, there's a cream, there's a white, there's a blue, and I think any of those would work really, really well. So let's look at blue first. Now, this is extra wide. Would you mind being my glamorous assistant, oh. please, Susie? Might be a bit this is 12.99 for a half meter i just want to show you, you need two meters. how much you need two meters that's four units now you stay down there and i'm we're in we're in different sides of the studio we're beyond social distancing doesn't really help you to know how big it is really does it just come this way slightly susie come, keep coming keep coming no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm disappearing. Yeah. I'm just to you, to me. Keep going. Go back. Go back. Go back. There, there I am. There we are. Look, there's, there's it's me. I'm beyond. almost there. Yeah. There yeah, we go. It's, loads. it's a lot. It is. It's Shall a lot. I fold that up for you while you're yes, the Yes, please. Yeah. Four units of that. This is the blue. That would go absolutely beautifully on the back. Absolutely gorgeous. Good. Yeah, stunning. So that's the blue, twelve ninety nine per half meter. Now then, we've also got beige. This is the sort of most tan. I'm going to open this out so that you can have a little look at that. You could love the design as well. It's just a nice, simple sort of silhouette flower. Isn't that lovely? And I've actually just ordered two meters of this for another quilt that I'm oh, doing awesome. using French General's new Ooh, La Boheme, La oh, Vie Boheme. Um, have oh, you seen that's it? that's beautiful. So if yeah. you have a look on my Instagram and Facebook, I've got a little, yeah, it's a quilt there that I'm just doing now. Very this nice. This is the backing. So it works perfectly. Oh, everyone in the gallery is now doing what little bit of awful French they know. What? Petit pois, la. petit pois, petit pois. Apparently that's it. Oh, not even ooh la la? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, très chic. Oh, no. <laughs> Regret rien. <laughs> and he's off. <laughs> we, the, the great thing is when I sing Susie, no one worries about paying the licensing. No because no one, knows one can recognise the song. <laughs> you only have to pay if it's actually recognisable. <laughs> I'd be all right then. <laughs> right. <laughs> Move, moving up. All right, all right. Everyone's joking about my singing voice, saying I sound like the Cookie it's Monster. It's not the best of folding, but it was it's a the bit Cookie creep. Monster and Edith Piaf had had a child in 1971. Here I am. Welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> petit pois, petit pois, petit pois. This is the cream. This is the cream. Extra wide backing, 274 centimetres wide. You need four units for the post room quilt. This is the cream. I've Beautiful. Just, I've just had an idea. Go on. What if you ordered two of the blue? Yeah. <clears throat> or one each of all of all four yeah. of those. You could just piece those you could together piece them and together. have it as a striped background. <coughs> that would be lovely. Yeah, that would be beautiful. Even, I suppose, if you were going the whole hog, you could get the cherry red, you could put red, white and blue strips or squares, big yeah, squares. to go with your stripy binding. Nice. Now then, we've also got, is this the white? This is the white. So this is a white background, but then a lovely, rich, sort of buttery cream mm. flower on this one. So any of these would work really well with the post room. They fit the style of fabrics, they fit the colours. Now, just to let you know as well, that post room quilt, there is one kit left. 
just the one just the one so if you'd like to make that for the millennium not the millennium the ch <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to make that for the millennium, newsflash you 22 years <laughs> like, Or incredibly, <laughs> 78 years early. An, opti no, uh, an optimistic. No, 978 years yes. early. Incredibly optimistic. But we like that. We like yeah. optimism. What's your secret? Because we want to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Brilliant. sorry. Oh. Why apologise? You've just given a game away. You know you're going to live forever. <laughs> yes, just to let you all know, I am immortal. <laughs> <laughs> now then, this one. <laughs> personally, I wouldn't pick this one. But personally, I would put this into my stash because I love extra wide backing. I this is black. Sewing machine bag. That's what I want for my sewing yeah, machine bag. Yeah, that would be gorgeous. It'd be great for dressmaking yeah, too. Yeah, it would. Oh, make a fabulous dress, wouldn't, wouldn't it? Because also as well, it's a little lighter in weight than mm. quilt weight cotton. Only a little. Not not like lawn, but more of a poplin. You yeah. have a feel. It's a little it, bit like a poplin, It is isn't Riley it? Blake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Quilting cotton. Absolutely so, beautiful. Yeah. But I know what you mean. It does feel... Just very as if slightly. it should be, but I yeah. don't think it is. Oh, you don't think it is? No. Ah, same. okay. Fair be enough. the same weight. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's really pretty. Beautiful. <gasps> you could EPP. Yeah, you that's could. So fussy. Yeah, fussy. Yeah. That. Sorry. It's We're gorgeous. <laughs> it is. Absolutely beautiful. You need it in your stash, basically, for is what sure. we're saying. <laughs> Absolutely, for sure. Gorgeous. Now, that quilt, the post room quilt, has sold out. <gasps> But you're staying with us, aren't you? Because we've got some of your patterns. Yes, you have. And some Easter weekend treats. Oh, boom, they, boom. Are the Why chocolates not? coming early? We're not allowed them till Sunday. Oh, that's all right. I can now, live. I'm going to grab some patterns. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to start with Geofetti. The Geofetti quilt. See, that's another. Ooh, yeah, or loving Yeah, organise yourself and quite graphic oh i'm loving that yeah i like that so one. there's the quilt on the front gosh i love that i love that orange sashing now straight away i'm thinking mm, if you'd got african wax prints they would look amazing yeah. so what's the idea talk us through so this is really a way of when you've got a, a bundle of fabrics that are full-on bright colors and all together they're a really eclectic but really inspiring warm bunch it's how do you break them down and still get away with that clutter mm -hmm. of color yeah if you like mm -hmm. so what I've done is pieced each of the big squares um, into segments yeah so you can use all your fabrics in each block okay and then you put those blocks together with the sashing plain sashing in between mm -hmm. to highlight mm -hmm. And it get and then put them together in rows. Um, I've got yeah. you. So and they're not all squares, are they? No, There's a mixture of squares and rectangles. rectangles. Yeah, and, and then a larger unit in the centre. Yes. Yeah, so you can either use if you've got a panel lying around, you can yeah. use a panel, mm -hmm. if, or you can just use a big block, um, or your favourite fabric in the middle. Mm. You could use it as a centre panel that is plain, and then you could. Um, embroider onto it if you want. Well, often to. in fabric packs, you get the sort of like the really large scale yeah. print, don't you? And then you yeah. get the medium and small. Exactly. So you could use the large scale print in the yeah. centre and then the smaller prints throughout. Yeah, but it's Love also it. designed that if you wanted to, you could, if you didn't want that central bit, you just do four more blocks. Yeah. And it do would that still too. work. That will work. Yeah. We've just had a price drop seven ninety nine for your Geo Fetti. There you go. Calorie free, chocolate free completely gorgeous yeah. the geo fetti sashed quilt it's a lovely idea i think that's gorgeous yeah again it's a good one for beginners there is some mm. seam matching to mm -hmm. do so it's uh, it takes a bit longer to you know to sew and put together but like the previous one they're all the same size strips Perfect. just subcut into different pieces fab now remember that price will go back up at midnight tonight uh, so grab yours for seven ninety nine rather than the usual nine ninety nine while you can. Now then, next up, let's see what should we do? The ruler holder bag. This is the quilting ruler tote bag. Yes. Now I remember we did a show together. We I think did. Maybe when you I launched this. I think it was one of the first ones. It we was. Did yes, it was. Yeah. And you used a gorgeous cave 
I did. Strip roll, two yeah. and a half inch strip. So this is jelly roll friendly. Yeah, absolutely jelly roll friendly. Yes, it, it was it was devised around the jelly roll. And if you use the whole jelly roll, yep. you'll do the inside and outside so you can make it reversible. Beautiful. If you don't want to do that, you could make two bags from one jelly roll. So use a solid or something else yep. for the lining. Inside. Awesome. So, yep. We have got some K Fusset uh, design rolls coming up in the next hour. So if you're inspired, then stick around. So we piece the outside, we piece the lining too, but that's yep. strip piece. Strip piece, it's all strip piece. Yep. And then the front, you then sew some uh, four strip pieces together and subcut gotcha. to make your. Sh to make your blocks. Well, the price has just been cut That's from $9.99 to $7.99, so grab yours while you can. Now, what's the largest ruler that would fit inside this bag? Uh, my Stripology XL fits in oh, this. Wow. I designed it to fit all my creative grids. Great way of storing it and yep. taking it to class that, or yeah, just that's keeping what I've it done. safe. Well, all mine are on the bags underneath my desk, mm -hmm. my cutting table. Um, ready to go but I have a different bag for each brand of ruler awesome. but I also fit my cut and press in there as well it's a really really it's good huge. size bag yeah. 21 inches wide 24 inches high thank you so much for putting the measurements in inches <laughs> much appreciated 7.99 but just till midnight bag yours while you can that's a really popular bag now we've got a question from Chris yes Chris has a question is the bag suitable for a beginner? Yes, you could do it as a beginner because um, it's only strips of two and a half inches and uh, you're just s sewing along the long edges most of the time. Mm -hmm. So it's yep. not onerous to put together Inside simple strip piecing yeah. is it outside you'll learn a new technique, yep. which is and always fun. You make the outside the same as the inside, there's no difference. So once you've mastered one, then you've got the other one ready. So yeah, easily a beginner's project Perfect. because you can you can do as much quilting on it as you want to do um, and if you don't want to use it for your rulers you want to use it as a beach bag or yep. just a tote bag yeah, yeah. shorten the handles if you want to make it for you know so you can hold rather than put over your shoulder mm -hmm. so it's a really versatile pattern to have in your stash. Could I use it as a lunch bag? Well, that's one heck of a lunch Stuart. That's like lunch for a fortnight. No just lunch. <laughs> No, I'm being good but now. But you could get a picnic in there. Yeah, I know. It's good. Is that because you've not eaten all those hot cross 18 buns? 18 pounds. 18 pounds. It's very good. It's all right, Is that isn't it? cutting out lots? It's not being on a diet. I'm not on a diet. That's it's good. just not eating not cakes, picking. sweets, yeah. naughty puddings, getting rid of all of those. Still having the odd glass of wine, as my social media shows. Yeah. Um, but only when I'm with Mummy Hillard. And how often do you see her? Every day? <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. Now then, next right. up, it's the triangular, <gasps> triangular pillow. pillow. Ooh, yeah. very limited on this. Very limited. We're going to crash the price. You know what we're doing now. Straight down, seven ninety nine. Now then, talk me through this. So this came out of the idea that, you know, in your, when you sit on your sofa, a normal pillow is fine if you're sat in the middle seat, but if you're sat on the edges, mm -hmm. you've got that corner. Oh, yeah, yeah, And so yeah. a cushion disappears and doesn't support your back. Mm -hmm. So the idea of this is it becomes like a pyramid. So the point goes into the corner of your, cushion, of your sofa. Mm -hmm. So when you sit back, you've got full back support. Perfect. Um, so that's where it came from. And I thought, well, rather than just make it triangles, I'm going to subcut that and yeah. make it in a triangle triangle. So it's all pieced together it's first. all pieced together. Oh look, that's and gorgeous. And it's got a zip in it so you can um, make a lining if you want to and I'll okay. give you the instructions for that. So if you want to fit, make your lining bag and fill your um, cushion in, you know, with the lining. With an inner. Yeah, with an inner piece you yep. can so you can change the cut take the cover off and wash it if you need to good yeah because so. obviously you're not just going to go and get a triangular no, you cushion can't. insert no. you're going to make your own yeah but that's a really useful skill to have isn't it it is yeah it is super and it's there an easy are zip. literally that many left
Now then, we were talking about it earlier, the sewing machine cover. Cover, yes. Oh, this is lovely. And see, I made it reversible. Sewing machine cover and pressing mat. Yes, because if you use into bright wadding, mm -hmm. then it makes it heat resistant so you can oh, iron on it as well perfect. or use ordinary wadding and just make sure you've got it on a cutting on mat or the insole bright yeah. great isn't it yeah this is 6.99 oh we think that might be a fault on the system I think so. but you're paying 6.99 it's supposed to be 9.99 isn't it it is they're all meant to be 9.99 <coughs> oh well oh well but it's also got a detachable pocket, so okay. you can put your tools and bits in it when you're going to classes. Oh, and just take that? And take that, and it's, oh. that's attached with a button, so it doesn't come off okay. on a loop. Yeah, oh, I see right here. Yeah. So, you so you'll just pay 6 99 Take advantage of our IT glitch. We were supposed to drop the price from 9 99 to 7 99 but it's come straight up at 6 99 So that's what you'll pay. Well, that won't hang around for very long. Grab it while you can. Ding dong. Ding dong. Ding a dong. Da 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 da. Ba ba da 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 da. You know the one? Ding a dong. Eurovision. It's all about the honey. It is. Mummy. <laughs> This is lovely, I approve. And this makes me think, when I see honeycomb, I think of bees. And when I think of bees, I think of the Great British Sewing Bee. Yes. Do you know it's back on? Oh, no. Two 27? Weeks. Two weeks to go. Two weeks to go. 20, is it the 27th? Uh, yes. Yeah, I believe 27th. So. so excited. So excited. We love, we love. Um, so this is all about the honey yes. wall hanging or table runner. Yes. Now tell me about this. So this was uh, using the Creative Grids Hexi Ruler. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, oh, it's a beehive. There is a beehive block in the middle. Oh. Yeah. So you've got the beehive block in the middle, and then around it are various different hexagons. Some of them are the log cabin for using yep. the, uh, or you can mix and match and do your own. Oh, so there's different techniques. Different. Yeah. Each uh, as you move out from the beehive, yep. you've got different. Oh, I love that. Hexagons surrounding it, just to add interest. Cool. Now, you've used the Creative Grid Triangle, tri uh, the hexagon trim tool. Yes, I have. Do I need to use that? As long as you can cut a hexagon accurately. Right. So, if you've got another with. hexagon ruler, yep. you're okay. Okay. But you do need a hexagon. Okay. And it's not the easiest of shapes to wing it. Okay. Because so of the you angles. would recommend the hexagon tool. I would tool. recommend getting a now, hexagon tool. Now, do we tool. have we have them in stock? Oh, we do. All oh, good. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. The triangle trimming tool. Hexagon trimming. Hexagon. Sorry, I keep calling it triangle, don't I? For some reason. Um, well, maybe we won't. Just finding it. We're just finding it. Um, but I chose to Hexagon. do so the, the the tool itself does a number of different blocks so mm. I've incorporated all of those into this design but if you There's don't want to you do the different blocks you just yep. want to do a single hexagon yeah. you can do you can do Th that's how the pattern's been written so you can do whatever you want basically <coughs> do I need to do some Y seams not with this, you don't. Oh, you don't? No. Even I when you join the hexagons I together? I, I just get you to stop and start a quarter of an inch. Oh, right, yeah. And then it's, which is... Easy, yeah. which is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. which yeah. is easy and less onerous. And then it's just bound in the normal way. Oh, cool. With, uh, you know, normal You binding. just trim the edges. You trim the edges off. Very layer cool. it up. And you can do whatever quilting you, you like. But um, yeah, I just love the feature of the beehive mm, I in love the that middle. Beehive. Oh gosh, I love that. It's really cool. And it's really not sweet. paper pieced. That is actually piece Regular pieced. Regular piecing. Yeah. 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 Strips and squares. Yeah. Fab. Now the details are on screen for the hexagon trim tool. Um, and now instructions. Instructions should be nine ninety nine, but today they're seven ninety nine. Just till midnight. You can make it without the ruler. You've given instructions for how to trim without the ruler, haven't you? Um, is that right? No, because I haven't given you the angles. I don't, you know, the the maths to do the angles right. on oh, a so hexagon. You, do need you need the ruler. a triangle template of some description. Yeah. 
yeah. definitely. Okay, then. Um, this trim tool, if you haven't <coughs> got it, it is so worth buying because you can do so many different shapes with this. Mm. And it's great for doing putting um, hexagons together for EPP as well, big ones, and yeah. then you can do bigger projects like Fab. bags and stuff. Well, I think it's a great tool. Um, I think yeah. it's well worth buying. Yeah, definitely. And that's a great project to use it. Now, one last set of instructions surrounding love panel quilt. Now, <clears throat> obviously, this was very much designed for Valentine and yeah. this particular panel, but we can still make it. Yes, because when I wrote the instructions, I was fully aware that Valentine's is, in fact, one out of 365 days of the year. And also, not everybody wants to celebrate Valentine's. Correct. But normally, everybody will loves you know if you love to do quilts you may w have panels lying around mm -hmm. so you can um, use the same instructions to do the, the quilt itself yeah. but just swap out the so panel so we can bit. substitute the panel yeah, you can it's see. just got to fit in there yeah. and then we've got heart blocks pieced heart blocks yeah. um, and straight so borders perfect yeah. great I mean so, it's a lovely way to use a panel yeah and we I, I don't know about you but I somehow managed to acquire panels yes and i never know what to do with them oh so well, i love is, a panel yeah well it makes quick quilts doesn't mm. it or, but it often inspires you to add things in totally agree so that is why this was written how it was it wasn't specifically written round this although no. that features in the photographs yeah it was written as a panelled quilt. You could substitute it. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, the price is great too. Six ninety nine, an extra price drop there from nine ninety nine to six ninety nine. That's your surrounding love panelled quilt. Very cute. I love it. You're a busy beaver. All these it gorgeous busy, designs. Hasn't it? Yeah, when you see them all collected like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. I and know. that's not all of them either, is it? <laughs> Keep them coming. We love them. Yeah. More bags. Yes. More yeah, bags. I've got a bag. few bags in development, cool. so to speak. Cool. So yeah. lots, lots on the horizon. Hopefully, yes. Good, good, good. Yeah. Thank you so much Thank for this you. morning, Susie. It's yeah. been a joy. Thank you. It's been good fun. Enjoy Easter. I will. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to spend a lot of time on the allotment, I think. Oh, fantastic. What are you yeah. growing? Well, nothing at the moment. Okay. Well, no, that's a fib. We've got garlics, potatoes and onions in at the Ooh. moment and then I've got lots of seeds going on in the I'm greenhouse. already thinking blade potato bake. Yeah that's what my husband's thinking. I'm not, I don't like potatoes. Oh, no. oh well. I'm the carrots and beans and broccoli person. Love those too. Yeah. Sounds great. So then, well enjoy. The, and you. Don't yes, enjoy. Too hard. Don't eat all that chocolate because no, those 18 pounds will suddenly become. Eat all <laughs> of the chocolate tomorrow. Yeah but there's only so much you can eat. I'll put it to the test. Thanks, Susie. <laughs> we'll care. see you again soon. Yes. Happy Easter, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're going to take a little break. When we come back, final roundup of some great tools and some fabrics. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. 
So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Hi everybody, welcome back to the last hour. Well, we've got 45 minutes together and then um, we must part, but only until tomorrow. Thanks for staying with me the whole morning. Uh, now, remember, We've got the wonderful shop and win promotion on today. 
every time you shop, it's going to be on a weekend, but here's the great news. When you shop, you get immediately entered into a prize draw to win prizes like motor quilt kits, uh, pre-cuts, um, fabric bundles. Now, every time you shop, even on the same day, if you check out three, four, five times, each time you get entered another, a new time into the draw. And it's a kind of a numbers game. The more times you're entered into that draw, the more chance you've got of winning. So multiple checkouts is a good thing. Remember, you only pay one PMP. So keep on going through with your shopping baskets to get into our prize draw. Now, we also have another really important back in stock today. It's Otto the dog from Joe Carter. Um, absolutely super cute. Now, there he is. Oh, adorable. You've got instructions. You've got all your fabrics as well. It's the kit to make Otto the dog. We don't have him here, I'm afraid. He lives with Joe. Um, but if you missed out on the show and we sold out really quickly, you get everything that you need to make Otto. Um, Everything's all cut out. You get a little pin badge of Otto as well. We had some more in stock today. We've got just a few left. Less than 20 left. Now, the 25th of March was the day we had the live show. So if you want to watch back and see the sort of complete making of Otto, then you can. This is your chance. It's just back in stock to get hold of the kit to make Otto the dog from Joe Carter. So keep checking out on that. Now, in the show today, we've got some fab tools and also some fab quilt kits as well um, and some fabrics as well. All right, so we're gonna start with, yeah. So Gemini, the Gemini. Now, Crafter's Companion came uh, Usually we see Crafter's Companion over on our sister channel, Hobby Maker. But our, earlier on in the week, we had Sarah Davis hot-footed it here and was here with Vix launching the Gemini die cutting machine and also some multimedia dies that are suitable for cutting fabric. Now, we often talk about how important it is to cut fabric accurately and also in patchwork, often we're cutting hundreds, if not thousands of the same shape. The all need to be the same size and shape they all need to be accurate who enjoys doing that die cutting is a fantastic way of getting really accurate shapes every single time now we don't have the Gemini machine but if you manage to get hold of the Gemini machine or you're planning on getting it in the future we'll get it back in stock of course um, we've got some dies that go with now this is the build a block um, now there's a did you say there's a 25% discount on these Fab. Okay, this is the builder block. Okay, yeah. So this is the builder block. Yeah, perfect. So this is the builder block set. Now, what you're getting in this, let me just show you what you're getting. This is the builder block patchwork system. So if you like, this is all your basic shapes. So you're getting squares, you're getting half square triangles, and you're getting quarter square triangles. And these are designed to make blocks three inches, four inches, six inches, eight, nine, and 12. So you're getting six different sizes of block that you can make using these 18 dies. Okay, so absolutely brilliant for creating your basic patchwork. So you think of all the patchwork blocks that you can make using squares, half square triangles, and quarter square triangles. Um, on the side of the packaging, you can see here just a small selection and it is just a small selection of the kind of blocks that you can make just using these dies. Okay, lots of traditional, lots of modern quilt blocks. I mean, really, it's almost endless. And I'm just going to open this up to show you how everything gets packaged inside, which is really great because not only is it the dies, um, but you're also getting your die storage system within the block as well, the box. So inside you've got these three drawers and then within that you've got your die. So you can see you've got six quarter square triangles, six 
half square triangles and six squares. And because these are nesting dies, the, you don't need masses of space to store them in. Just open this out and that's how they come. Isn't that clever? And then you're just going to take out the die. This is the die. You basically layer up your fabric. You can cut multiple layers of fabric. You're going to lay this die on top, cutting plate on top of that, and then run it through the Gemini cutter. And it's going to effectively stamp. So the way it works is a lot like when we make biscuits or scones and we use a metal or plastic um, ring or, or cutter, cookie cutter, to stamp through. It's doing the same under pressure. It's pushing the fabric through the die to cut out the shape accurately and quickly. These work for the Gemini machine. Okay. If you want to watch back that show with Sarah Davis, then you can. That was just on Wednesday, wasn't it? Was that the 13th? Perfect. Okay, great. I'm going to pop that there and just pop that back in the drawer. So that's the builder block and that's if you like your basic set, your base set that you're going to use for your basic patchwork. Now then, we've also got the builder block plus. So this is an add-on um, set of units. Okay, now this is for 4 inch, 6 inch, 8 inch, 9 inch and 12 inch blocks. So this is going to mix and match. Now within this set, and you can use these units on their own, so you don't have to mix and match these with the builder block, but you get a lot more value out of it if you've already got the builder block. So what you're getting in here is you're getting rectangles, half rectangle triangles and also isosceles triangles, what I always call tall triangles, okay? They're the shapes that you're getting on the side. Absolutely fab. Now you also get a block index. I'm just going to turn this around so that you can see um, some ideas of what you can make, but there are many, many more. Now the seam allowance, quarter inch seam allowance is included in your dies. So when we talk about a four inch finished block or a 12 inch finished block, that's once all the seam allowances are taken off. So the block would be 12 and a half. Your units would have that extra quarter of an inch all the way around. All right. So those mix and match beautifully. And again, same storage system inside there. You're getting those little drawers um, and you are making a saving of 25%. So that 25% is already off the price. So original price would be what, 99.99? So we're dropping that price to 74.99. Fantastic, really, really good value. And because they're um, these like outline dies, storage is really compact. I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? All of your blocks, all of your cutting dies in those two uh, stacks, those six drawers in total. Okay, now we've also got some other add-ons, <coughs> which again, these work independently of the build block system. So you can make these um, as blocks on their own. Should we start with Drunkard's Path Winding Ways? So this is a bundle. You're getting both sets of dies. Now these are both to make six inch, eight inch, nine inch and 12 inch blocks. OK, uh, so you've got all sorts of different sizes. You're effectively getting one free. 59.99. We can, they are available separately, but are they 59.99 each? <gasps> so you're getting two for the price of one. The bundle's about to sell out. It's 59.99. You can make um, winding ways block. Oh, it's gone. Well done if you got that. My goodness me. Now the other bundle, <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me one sec. <coughs> Here we go. The other bundle that we've got um, is, again, you buy one, you get one free. $59.99. We've got Rob Peter to pay Paul, and we've got Bayleaf um, or Orange Peel. Okay. 
Um, so this is a bit of curved piecing, just like the, the previous bundle, the Robin Peter to Pay Paul and Drunkard's Path. Uh, sorry, Winding Ways and Drunkard's Path. Now, one of the things, I think the thing that really um, holds a lot of us back when it comes to curved piecing is cutting out. Because we're so used to, and it's part of our comfort zone, to lay our ruler on top of our fabric and cut strips and cut squares and cut triangles. And they're nice straight cuts. You start cutting curved pieces and all of a sudden you're having to use the dreaded template you're having to cut you know marking things and cutting things and it just feels like a drag now because die cutting I mean it doesn't matter with die cutting whether you're cutting a strip a square a circle or a star okay it's the same principle you put it through your Gemini and it cuts so the cutting now longer hold, no longer holds us back the second thing that holds people back when they try curved piecing is accuracy, getting things to line up. Well, if your cutting is perfect, and die cutting, the cutting will be perfect, um, your ma everything will match up as it's supposed to. If you pin it and you take your time sewing it, you'll have no problem at all. Now, what you've got here is you've got um, six dies in each, so 12 dies in total. You've got your Rob Peter to pay Paul and you've got your bay leaf. Now let me show you how that looks and the sort of blocks that you can make. It's absolutely beautiful. This is the Rob Peter to pay Paul. So called because, let me just show you the traditional Rob Peter to pay Paul. It's basically, um, well, it's kind of like this here, this one right here is the traditional set. Well, it's a quarter of that really. So if you imagine the sort of center, this, the navy blue, this part, the curvy bit, with then like sort of half petals around it, that's the traditional Rob Peter people, and then you sew them together. Um, so the idea is that you've kind of taken a chunk out of Peter to make Paul, and then the next block flips the colour way around. So it looks like you've taken a little chunk and flipped it. That's where the name comes from. Um, but lots and lots of different options for how to make this. You've got that half petal, you've got that centre portion. I'm just going to open this. I want to show you what's inside. Oh, it's a snug fit. Now remember the other bundle um, has sold out. You got one free. There we go. I'm not putting it back on. But this is also your storage system, remember. Really nicely put together. So you've got your pattern book, okay, with lots of different patterns inside it. How you're going to put them together, how you're going to piece them. Loads of different design ideas in here. Absolutely superb. Okay. Then you're also getting, here's your dies. Now, if I just take off the plastic for a second. So you've got a kind of a map of your different dies. And then underneath, you have all of your dies. And again, it comes in its own storage system. So you're going to keep the packaging, keep the box. This is your packaging system. And these um, sizes, these stack on each other to create almost like a set of drawers. So there's your half petal, and these are your surrounds. You've got three different sizes of these, three different sizes of these, but you can create blocks that are six, eight, nine, and 12 inches. Absolutely braille. So that's your Rob Peter to pay Paul. And then you've also got bay leaf, which is to say, I would call um, uh, orange peel. You might know it as orange peel. And I've done lots of quilts using those designs. There we go. I knew I'd get it in in the end. Right. <laughs> Let me just pop that away. See, I'm a packer away. -er. Tidy ship and all that. Right. So this is um, the bay leaf. Now, if I turn this around and show you what you're getting. So effectively, you're getting... You're getting the um, sides of the block, 
So you'd have that on both sides and then you'd have the petal shape, the orange peel shape or the bay leaf shape running through the centre. So you can create obviously these petal shapes that you can see down here. There's all sorts of different ways to set those but then also you can start mixing and matching the colours. You can use the centres differently. Here this is not using the petal shape at all. This is using the, the centre uh, and the outside of the block. It's a really clever system. Now I'm not sure, I don't know if you can tell me this, how many layers of fabric, multiple. It really does depend actually on the kind of fabric that you're using. So if you're using something like cotton lawn, your Liberty cotton lawn or something like that, then I would suggest using between four, possibly up to six layers, but try it. Always we'll start with one layer. Oh, Kat found this out. So with felt, felt? Use up to eight layers. Eight layers. In the yep. Um, eight layers of felt. And that's quite thick. Yeah, that is thick. So obviously with cotton. Thinner. It's harder to cut. Yeah. So I would say four layers of quilt weight cotton you could cut, but experiment. Experiment. Um, you wouldn't try and cut more layers than that in your with your rotary cutter. So if it's very thick fabric, woven fabric, so things like um, you know heavyweight <coughs> upholstery fabrics, I would cut one layer at a time. If you're cutting something like oil cloth or leather or PU, I would go one layer, possibly two. If you're cutting um, cotton lawn, possibly up to six layers, but I wouldn't go more than about that. And felt again, it will cut really, really well. You can even cut things like um, cork fabric as well and foam. So if you wanted to cut things like Bosel in our form, for example, you can. Now that would be, you might be thinking, why would I need to cut out shapes in Bosel in our form? But if you think about something like um, if you're making, say, coasters and you want to cut out squares, if you're doing something like Japanese folded patchwork where you have your square or circle of wadding, you can cut wadding using it as well. Beautiful and accurate every single time. Now then, just to recap, oops, sorry, lost my monitor. I thought this had sold out. No, sorry, beg your pardon. Yep, so in your basic patchwork set, this is your builder block. You're getting 18 dies. You're getting 18 dies. You get um, six different sizes of square six different sizes of half square triangle and six different sizes of quarter square triangle um, <clears throat> and the dies are <clears throat> here are the sizes you get one and a half two two and a half three and a half four and a half and six and a half so that is the cut size Okay, so your six and a half square is going to piece together for a six inch square your two inch cut will be one and a half inch finished um, and that's how you're going to create things like a nine inch block by using one and a half inch finished half square triangles quarter square triangles and so on or you'd also you could use the three and a half inch cut to give you a three inch finished those two pieces are going to mix and match together beautifully aren't they because two of your one and a half inch units is going to fit against one of your three inch units super clever system super clever system I'll just turn that around so you can see those are the different dies you get so you're getting six squares six triangles half square six triangles quarter square that's your basic set and then if you want to supplement that and expand the number of blocks that you can do I mean that's going to make you a gazillion patchwork blocks but if you want official official title that gazillion but if you want to expand the possibilities and make even more blocks um, then go for the add-on the builder block plus that has quarter sorry half rectangle triangles rectangles and also isosceles or tall triangles again you're getting 14 different dies there and these will make four inch six inch eight inch nine inch and 12 inch blocks so five different block sizes superb 
Love it, love it. And die cutting is so much faster than rotary cutting for many, many shapes. It's also really, really accurate. And also if you've ever suffered from that sort of, you know, the strain of having to stand and cut um, with a rotary cutter or um, uh, scissors, if you've struggled with reading the ruler and getting accuracy or the ruler slipping, if you can't or struggle with standing to rotary cut and you're finding that really awkward, have a look at die cutting. With the Gemini system, it's an electric cutting system. So you're literally offering the die and the plate up to the machine and it carries it straight through. These work with the Gemini uh, machine, die cutting machine from Crafters Companion. So they work together to make cutting easy, accurate, fast, achievable. We love all of that. Okay, so that's our Gemini cutting system. Now then, we have more on the show. We do, we do, we do. So. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now, Janet, my lovely friend, Janet Clare, came in for her first um, shows just a couple of days ago, didn't she? And she brought some amazing projects. <clears throat> now then, it was the 14th, wasn't it? <coughs> now, this is the big quilt that she brought. We haven't got any of the kits left, but we do have the pattern. It's 9 99 and it's called Bright Above Me. I mean, it's a beautiful kind of compendium or a sampler of stars, different star blocks, really gorgeous. We actually launched, I launched um, her fabrics a couple of weeks ago. And you may well have bought the Mega Bundle or Half Meters in the Blues or the creams. You could absolutely put together your own fabric collection to go with this the quilt um, design. It would work really well. You might have a collection of Japanese tops. You might have some brights. You might have some neutrals or scraps. But it's a, <coughs> excuse me, a beautiful pattern. Really beautiful pattern. <coughs> could I have some water, please? Thank you. A message across my bottom. Lovely surprise to see you today, Stuart. Fab morning with lots of handy tips. Musical interludes, thank you very much. And language lessons as well as sewing. <laughs> Kate in Merseyside, thank you. Yeah, not sure about the language lessons. <laughs> exactly. But I try. Bonjour, petit pois. Mes amis, mes amis. Oh la la, oh la la. <laughs> I, you know, I thought I did a pretty good Scottish accent and then I did it for a Scottish friend of mine. And he was like, nah, nah. So anybody in Scotland would know you weren't from Scotland. And I was really proud of what I'd managed. But he said, no, he said, he said, no. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> right then. So Janet Clare, we've more, some lovely things. Now, these are all on stills, on pictures. So I'll go through these with you. Now we have a pattern for what's called the blues kit fusion. This is a kit, isn't it? So within the kit, you're getting all your fabric. Uh, that's absolutely delicious, isn't it? That's using Janet's new fabric collection as well. Absolutely stunning. For $26.99, you get all the fabric included. Everything's included, plus your instructions. Uh, there you go. It's coming, I promise. There it is. These are from a fabric collection that Janet did called The Blues. Yeah, Janet Clay did The Blues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you see, producer Hannah knew all about that collection of fabric but didn't connect it with Janet. We're so lucky, we feel very lucky to have Janet here at Sewing Street now. Beautiful, yeah, really lovely, gorgeous and restful, calming, um, just beautiful. And the cushion's great, isn't it? It's got lots of movement, it's quite arty, something really special. $26.99 for that. Okay, so that's the blues cushion kit. Now we do have more from Janet. 
This is called botanicals. It's not that cushion though, is it? Oh, lovely. So different fabric collection. Um, that's gorgeous. So this is more greys, isn't it? Lovely soft greys and charcoal, ash, really beautiful. And this is from a range called Botanicals. Now inside the kit, these are all the things that you're going to get. So it's got a bit of a, yeah, you've got the birds in there as well, and wildflowers. You've got the pom-pom edging as well. That's pom-pom edging, isn't it? Mm. And your backing, really lovely and full instructions. Plus that full charm pack, very, very nice. You can also get the pattern on its own for that one. And that will make either cushion, actually. It's the same block, but just twisted and turned a different way. You could easily use that um, pattern for a gorgeous quilt. Um, so that is $9.99. Oh, that's pretty with the pinks. That looks lovely. Really versatile, really versatile. And that would work if you've got five inch charm packs or the five inch layer cake, you know, the, the small um, charm packs rather, that would work with any. <coughs> now then, next up, I mentioned earlier on when Susie was here that we'd got a couple of K facet design rolls. Now we were talking um, earlier on Susie and I about her gorgeous ruler bag that uses two and a half inch strips. Fantastic, you can get one bag, really big bag, outside and inside, completely reversible using one strip roll. But also these are terrific for quilts of course. Now we have got some really lovely colours here, which shall we start with? Okay, so this one is an absolutely gorgeous collection of um, bright pinks and oranges and reds here. I'm just gonna... There we go, there we go. Um, you can see there, fabulous selection of pinks, oranges, reds. There's a little bit of, just starts to creep into blue, but really lovely, warm, rich, hot colors. I think there may even be a bit of hot pink. Smashing. Okay, that's the pink one. And then we've also got one which is much more kind of dark and moody, um, which is like really deep plums, deep purples, there's a little bit of black in there, greys, that's absolutely gorgeous, love that. And a little bit of really lovely chartreuse and lime green, <coughs> which just helps to kind of lift and adds a bit of zing, doesn't it? Adds that sort of lovely accent colour. Beautiful. You get 40 different strips. Well, you get two of each design. So you get 20 different designs, 40 in total. Delicious. Thank you, Keith. Now then, we've also got some patterns for design rolls. Now then, let me find. Okay. Oh, yes. Right down the other end. Can I stay here now? There I am. As if by magic. Now then, these both work with two and a half inch strips. This one's called Concentric Squares. Both of them designed by Amanda Little. Um, these are both stunning quilts, absolutely gorgeous. Love this one. Um, really, really beautiful design. Very modern, very chic. And you've got all of your cutting instructions, all of your piecing instructions too. And I suppose in a way, it's a variation on a log cabin because you're adding strips around a centre square and the next strip happens to be wider and then narrower. But essentially, it's a, a log cabin variation. You're just making one really big block. Beautiful. 
absolutely lovely. That would work in so many different colorways, different fabric ranges, but would look amazing done in the cafe. Now, I'm just gonna grab the two cafe design rolls because I'd just like to suggest that if you were going to use this design roll, this is the purples and the, the really deep uh, dark purples and greens, you could use a black solid, you could use a light grey solid, would look lovely, that would really pop. You could use a white, you could even use something like a really pale lilac, a soft lilac, that would look good, or um, a soft aqua, or even a soft um, green, a soft leaf green would also look good. But black or grey, um, mid, mid or light grey would be my go-tos with that one. Now then, if you were going to use this, the bright, with these ones, <coughs> excuse me, I would go personally with either quite a vibrant turquoise, this sort of colour, this sort of turquoise, or a light blue would also look good, or I would use something like a really sharp, chartreuse that would also really pop against all of those now if you did just want to calm the whole thing down then you absolutely could just use white white would also look really crisp really gorgeous um, amount wise just so that you know uh, your solid your background fabric you need two meters to go with so and you actually you need 44 two and a half inch strips okay 44 so you could use a bit from your stash you've got 40 you just need four more strips yeah yeah just grab your stash grab something from your stash or by one extra half meter when it, when we're talking about cave you get so much variation in the fabric um, that would blend in really well Okay, so that's the concentric squares. Then we've also got oscillating lines. Again by Amanda Little. Again, this is a really lovely quilt. Again, you could make this very modern. You could make this very traditional. <coughs> it, all, it all comes down to what fabrics you use. But really suitable for a beginner. You're sewing rectangles to each other. Um, and then you're just kind of varying the position, staggering to create these wonderful kind of V shapes, these chevrons. Very, very cool. I love that. It's a great design. Now that one comes out size wise. It's, um, where is the size? Where is the size? It's not on the front and it's not on the back. Uh, finish size here we go 42 inches by 68 inches that's the oscillating lines and just so that you know the concentric square quilt is 70 inches square all right okay um yeah absolutely gorgeous and again either of these two cave strip rolls would work for this and again you're going to have background fabric for this one you need well, what it says one and a quarter meters, so you need to go three units, one and a half meters if you're buying it from us. And um, again, you could use the same color, so you could use black, you could use light gray, you could use um, light lilac would look good. This one you could use white, aqua, teal, or lime chartreuse, gorgeous. Or just plain white. Okay, that's both of those patterns. Now then, the Moda, excuse me, the Moda Outdoorsy Big Star Quilt. It's, oh yes, 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 yes. <coughs> excuse me. Now then, this is amazing. I love this. Saw a picture of it earlier on, ever so cool. <coughs> now you get a ruler, you get a ruler included. Oh, I say we're gonna crash the price as well. <coughs> oh, cool. This is $161.99. Should be $179.99. 
So you're getting all your fabrics. You're also getting a ruler to help you make it too. That's superb. So fabric-wise, you're getting these wonderful plaids. Move that over a tiny bit. You're getting these wonderful plaids. Oh gosh, I love that one. Really nice. Oh gosh, it's a really cool mix. Kind of like a newsprint design. A basket weave. Then you're getting this kind of speckled fabric. Oh, this next one looks kind of like moss. Wooden sort of plank effect. Oh wow, that is really nice. Look at that. Delish. A bit more of that speckle. And then you're getting your background fabric as well. And then on top of that, you're also getting an Omnigrid ruler. This is a non-slip ruler, which is used within the pattern itself. Now you also do get, of course, the pattern for making your quilt, and it is absolutely spectacular. I'm just gonna grab the box again so you can see the finished sample on the front of that box. That is absolutely amazing. So beautiful, isn't it? Not a beginner quilt, definitely something for an intermediate quilter. This is 85 inches square. Now this whole quilt was demoed on the 19th of March. So if you want to see a demo of the piecing, the cutting, how it goes together, <coughs> thank you, then um, have a little look back, 19th of March. Awesome, really like that. And you are making a saving there. It's just 161.99. Now we're gonna finish off with tomorrow's menu and a little reminder of that competition that we're running at the moment. So stick around. So for tomorrow, Easter Saturday, I might have a hot cross bun. <coughs> We're going to start at 8 a.m. with the early bird, of course, and then straight into Yoko Sato fabrics. Now, these fabrics were absolute hit when we launched them a couple of weeks ago, so stick around for that. 9 a.m., we've got Emma Bradford here with the Tim Holtz Croc Jungle Quilt Kit. At 10, it's Sewing Room Tools, and then at 11, Emma's back with the Springtime in Quiltsburg Quilt. Now at 12 o'clock we head on over to Yarn Lane and we've got a book launch. It's 100 crochet tiles with Anna, Nikki, Pira, Pira, sorry, <laughs> no one told me before, with Anna, with Anna, with, with Anna. I will practice before Anna gets here tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, good, excellent. Okay, that's tomorrow. Fabulous, fabulous. Now, we will still be doing Shop to Win tomorrow. It will be different prize, prizes or prize, a different prize tomorrow. So remember, today we've got Moda Quilt Kit, pre-cuts, <coughs> up for grabs today. There's a strip roll in there, a jelly roll as well. Um, one minute to midnight. So basically, if you buy anything today, you'll be entered into that prize draw. But being entered into the prize draw is linked with you checking out your basket. So if you check out your basket five times today, you'll be entered into the prize draw five times, which means you're more likely to win than somebody who's just made one purchase. You only pay one lot of postage, of course. You knew that. Um, capped postage, you only pay that once each day. But the more times you check out today, the more times you'll be entered into that prize draw. Tomorrow we'll be carrying on, but it'll be a different prize. Looking forward to seeing what we've got. Um, we've also got a game that we're going to be playing tomorrow. Shudder, don't you just love it? We're going to be playing a game called Drop That Word. Drop that word. <laughs> I've got to learn the game tonight. Basically, there'll be like a key word. And when I say, it, and you know me, I won't be subtle. I'll be saying, you know, clock. When the clock strikes four. Yeah. Um, 
then what you've got to do is message into the studio and you can win money to spend on the website which is fabulous real cold hard cash when we understand how the game works we'll explain it better but that will be tomorrow once we've all had a strong cup of coffee um, <laughs> we'll be very careful how we do it tomorrow so that's how tomorrow's looking I hope you enjoy the rest of your good Friday thank you for your company and for all your messages as well um, and we'll see you tomorrow take care of yourselves and each other If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your...